Now, about this workshop, we still have to distribute some more numbers. Let me first clarify my position. I am responsible only for myself and for nobody else. You are responsible for yourself. If you want to go crazy, commit suicide, get pulled, and, uh, or get an experience that will change your life, that's up to you. I do my thing and you do your thing. Come. Anybody who does not want to take the responsibility for this, please do not attend the seminar. You came here out of your own free will. I don't know how grown up you are, but the essence of a grown up person is to be able to take responsibility for himself, his thoughts, feelings, and so on. Any objections? Let me tell you in this context the Gestalt Kreia have uh, conjured up. The Gestalt Kreia is this I do my thing, you do your thing. I'm not in this world to live up to your expectations, and you're not in this world to live up to my expectations. I am I, and you are you. Amen. Here. Now, do you, the, these weekend seminars are not workshops, are not therapeutic seminars. They're kind of a sampling situation. And in order to give you some idea what Gestalt therapy stands for, there are always a number of people who volunteer to work with me and I already had some requests tonight. Uh, you see, I need, I think, six items for my work. Skills, cleavates, which are girls that she cleared them, right? The hot seat, the empty chair, my cigarettes. <laughs> and number six, some people who want to work with. So, who really wants to want to work with me, not just make a fool out of me, that's fun too, but uh, uh, in this situation, it's not so easy to difficult to work with. Okay, now. Let's start from here. Now, I give preference, and you will uh, see for what in purpose, to working with or around dreams. If you understand what you can do with dreams, you can do a tremendous lot for yourself. If you understand in gestalt therapy, we never, we don't interpret dreams. We do something much more interesting, exciting with that. And whenever anything happens, especially if you resent anything, please speak up and express it and make your demands explicit. This alone will help a lot. The resentment is the most important expression of the impasse of being stuck. Now, I am writing another book, at least I started, I started a few manuscripts which I never finished. And I want to, instead of a lecture introduction, I want to read you a half a chapter of this book. It deals with some essential about growth and the relationship of growth to neurosis. I take for granted that the sperm that wins the race of million sperms might not be chosen. 
the ovum might not, the ovum might select its mate. Mechanics don't apply to life. Life is awareness of its need, its self-supporting feeling. Each cell selects, assimilates nutrition from the plasma. It uses stuff for which to make the bile, the hormones, and the thoughts. It has a mind. It knows its job. It has a social conscience. Its own survival is in tune and serves the total organism. The cells know so much more than what we think in arrogant computing. Awareness sensing that we lost is still in fact if we let be. The ovum that might, thus might not accept the most ambitious suitor. A marriage is perfect. The unicell begins to split, proliferate, potential men, self-actualizing as beginning men to receive support. Yes, all support right in the mother's womb. The food, the warmth, the oxygen, the building stones are there to structure predetermined plants from gene. It listens, kicks around for Lebensraum to mobilize its muscles. A painful birth, tremendous change, no shelter, warmth or oxygen. It has to do some breathing now, for life is brand. The logos of the psyche breath is called psychologia. The first mood to support itself appears. You want to live, so get your breath. Blue baby is the impasse called that patterns many later. But death will be if you don't risk a self-supporting breathing. Cry out in pain, or cry his breath to overcome your impasse. And growth goes on. More self-support, more self-support, more self-support replaces outside helping. Support from outside is withdrawal. You learn to walk and are not carry. You play with sounds then words, communicate, express yourself. You raided the icebox if not fed. You choose your friends if love recedes. You earn your bread, form own ideas, and take your place among your peers. Now you're grown. Right. Right. Responsive to existence, no drag to other people. Not a neurotic who demands support from outside source. I call neurotic any man who uses his potential instead of growing up himself, manipulates the other. He takes control, <coughs> gets power mad, and mobilizes bands and kin in places where it's impotent to use his own resources. He does so because he not, cannot stand such tensions and frustrations that go along with going hard. And taking risk is risky too, too fearful to consider. He thinks he's lost without the help. He sucks you in. He uses you unheeding your requirements. Manipulating others is an art which he acquires early. He plays some roles. Selected well, to domineer the others, even in him. He forms a character, which watertight makes you believe is genuine, the expert eyes well used to tricks discovered merely phoniness. What games do our patients play? What roles do they consider? Most frequent are dependence games. I cannot live without you, dear. 
you're so great, so wise, so good. You solve my problems for a fee or better still for liking me. The poor me game is also known for being quite effective. To make the heart that seems withdrawn and cruel and rejected, turn on your easy flowing tears, my lovely cunning beauty, until mascara runs and smears your photogenic beauty. Black Mary is another one. I hate you now. I kill myself. You'll be, I'll be redeemed, but you will have a lousy reputation. <laughs> Transference is a lovely game that can be played forever. I'll turn you in my father talk, and you'll be dear and clever. What he has done and has not done, what he should do and should not do, what I remember or forget. Why did I screw my mother? I'm lying on the lovely couch for years, decades and centuries. I should live that long. Avoid to touch in meeting you so that we both play undisturbed the symbols, insights, and taboo. Well, that added for the shoulders. So, in other words, the world you owe this question shifts more and more from the medical to the educational field. We see more and more the so called neurosis as a disturbance in development. A disturbance which has two results. One is that we do not develop our potential. Now, what does this mean? It means that the average person in our time, and I want you to, for once, listen to numbers. The person of our time lives only on 5 to 15 percent of his potential. A person with 25 percent of his potential available is already considered to be a genius. So think big. 85 to 95 percent of your potential is unknown. It's not at your disposal. So if you find out how you prevent yourself from growing, from using your potential, we have a chance of increasing this, making the life richer. Making you more and more capable of mobilizing yourself. The other side is the reluctance to go through that impasse that will gain this development. If you rather maintain the status quo, rather keep in the status quo of a mediocre marriage, mediocre mentality, mediocre aliveness, than to go through that impasse. We rather manipulate the others for support than to learn to stand on our own feet and to wipe our own ass. And in order to manipulate the others, we become control mad, power mad. Using all kinds of tricks, I gave you a few examples here. Playing helpless, playing stupid. Being control mad. 
And the most interesting thing about the control mad people is that they always end up being controlled. They build up, for instance, a time schedule that then takes over control and they have to be at every place at a specific time from then on mm -hmm. then. then. So the control mad per person is the first one to lose us at freedom. Instead of being in control, he has to strain and push all the time. Chief. The enemy of development is pain phobia. The unwillingness to do a tiny bit of suffering. You see, pain is a signal of nature. It's a pleasure. The painful Lemmy, the painful feeling cries out, pay attention to me. If you don't pay attention, things will get worse. The broken limb cries, don't walk so much, keep still. But we use this fact in Gestalt therapy by understanding that the awareness continuum, which lasts any time if you're not asleep, you're always aware of something, is being interrupted that you become phobic as soon as you begin to feel something unpleasant. Soon we can feel uncomfortable. You take away <coughs> your attention. So the therapeutic agent, the means of development is to integrate attention and awareness. Our psychology doesn't even differentiate awareness and attention. But the attention is a deliberate way of listening to the emerging foreground figure, which in this case is something unpleasant. So what we do with therapists, we work as a catalyst. Both ways provide situations in which a person can experience this being stuck, that pleasantness, and frustrate him still further until he's willing to mobilize his own resources. He might become phobic and run away, or he might play such games which will lead our effort at absurdum, like. Uh, making a fool out of the situation or playing the bear trap again. You probably know the bear trappers. The bear trappers suck you in and give you the command and when you're sucked in, down comes the hatchet and uh, you stay there with a bloody nose, head or whatever is being injured. Or you have the Mona Lisa smile. They smile and smile and all the time think, you're such a fool, and nothing penetrates. Or you have the driver crazy, who have only one interest in life, to drive themselves and their spouse and their the environment crazy, and then fish in troubled waters. But with these exceptions, anyone who has a little bit of good will will benefit from the Gestalt approach. Because the simplicity of the Gestalt approach is that we pay attention to the obvious, to the utmost surface. We don't delve into, into a region which we don't know anything about in the so-called unconscious. I don't believe in repressions. 
everything a person wants to re express is all there, not in words. What we so say is mostly either lie or bullshit. <laughs> but the voice is there, the gesture, the posture, the facial expression, the psychosomatic language, it's all there. You know, if we learn to more or less let the content of the sentences take second, play the second violino. Another word of warning. Fortunately or unfortunately, I've got lately such a reputation as a therapist that I cannot possibly live up to it. So if you have to take me for what I am, I do my thing introduce your thing and see whether we can establish some communication. <laughs> so let's start with number one. Your name is? Aurelia. Aurelia. Aurelian. Aurelia. I don't know what to say. Problem? Saying stupid and help. <laughs> Problem. That, uh, what, just what, what's it? What's the situation? She wants to be number one. And then she comes up and says, I don't know what to say. On well, this little bit of introduction, you can already learn quite a lot about the person. My talent to not be the friend, go hard to. I. My problem is that I have a tendency to analyze everything I do and say, and I feel like split myself apart. And I think I came here because I was upset the last few months and was unable to find any way of, of being creative or being able to find which way I want to go. You know, you make me feel like a wailing wall. I'm really lost. This guy. Look. So, like, running away. I <laughs> Because terribly embarrassed, don't know what to say. Now, do you notice that you were smiling all the time? Because I think it's funny, because I put myself in that position. It looks like. Ha, 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 ha. Are you satisfied? No. What's the left hand to we? Holding out my knee. Watch my leg. Oh. Happen. Looking for support. You are afraid uh, that I am going to make a fool of myself. What about making a fool out of me? Okay. I felt cold thanks to Simon Market. Oh, oh, loud. 
um, what's your right in doing that? Ah, uh, rubbing my upper lip, touching my face. Again, the smirk appeared. Did you feel it? We feel it. It's because I can go out, somehow I look at myself and face. But it's very funny. Anyone looking at me from the outside of it, funny. Okay. Uh, Take the empty chair, sit down here, and this direction you face yourself. And tell Aurelia what you observe. Aurelia, you look so funny. Play the audience. I don't know why that woman went up there. Talk to the dog. I don't know why you went up there, Aurelia. You should have had more sense than that. Or at least waited until you had seen what happens to other people before you want to clean it. I didn't cure it up to see all these guests the best of them. Two seats. You notice I let the patient do all the dirty work there, so. Be bad. Give that up, back to the Yes, that's me. I always punch in head first. And then can laugh at my stuff. You think you are terrific, don't you? So you want to find out everything all at once. Where any page down. You know, I like that part of you that sits on the chair better than Metroid. Did it? Asked. Perhaps I am. Uh, I have been doing this for the time in my life. Being the observer for the can't life bow. Okay, go on. <laughs> well, I thought that somehow I will be able to tell how I felt before I came to a solo, but somehow the trip up here changed my feelings completely and I was unable to recapture yesterday. And today I felt so wonderful and full of fun and I felt I had to say something that troubles me and so I didn't know what to say. Can you repeat the same paragraph and tell this to the audience? But check. I don't remember what I said, but an essence that I had a lot of problems yesterday, but I couldn't recapture it today because somehow on the trip coming here. Yesterday is forgotten. The problems of yesterday are forgotten, and there's a kind of joyous feeling in me. And I had the feeling I had to tell what my problems were. <laughs> Shall I tell you about my joyous feeling? I can't, this is the first time that I have driven my car a long distance and I was happily praying of all kinds of things that would happen on the trip, that the car would break down, that, that I'm a lost driver, that the people would come. This, by the way, we call it the catastrophic expectation. There. Oh, a wonderful means of torturing oneself. 
I think the truth will be here. But I was determined to make it. And so I started back on the trip yesterday afternoon to take it leisurely and start the way it started on your business call. And it was a beautiful trip. I felt very secure, nobody except one cost of height from hand for you. And it cut her out. <laughs> and best living was very fine name. And I arrived here with a feeling of great accomplishment of having it joyous experience that felt now I am no longer dependent on other people that I go somewhere or as one we call the anastrophic expectation. <laughs> The foolish optimism and put forth that. But perhaps tomorrow I find my balance. Okay, the thing too. My name is Side. First. Now I had met Sai before. You met before. Across the table. Legion. But you never worked with me. No. Now, please don't change your posture. What do you notice about his posture? Let me think. He's a closed system, and not only is he closed system, but the right side goes to the left and the left side will come in. That that is so baby. How big sub can you get? <laughs> he hasn't said anything yet, but you can see how much he expresses with the posture. And I feel very secure. We can have that. Will you do me a favor? See how in the field when you open up. It was unfinished. It is true. I feel my heart, Tony. Uh -huh. Now we get stage play. Not post a secure. And you see, I always give you some remarks in between. <laughs> Anxiety, as it's called in psychiatry, considered a very difficult problem, is actually nothing but stage fright. If you are in the now, you have security, you have what's called in Zen Satori. As soon as you jump out of the now, for instance, in the future, the gap between the now and the then is still the pent up excitement and this experience as anxiety. Stop now, I have Ami. Yeah, close your eyes and enter the now, namely the experience of your heart pounding and so on. Stay with your body. What do you experience now? Whatever you... My whole body, I could feel my heart pound. Feel myself breathing. What we expect? Let's move on. Go ahead. What's your objective to stay in the Let's move on means to get towards the future. 
when it's application to city. Do you have any experience like being stuck or feeling impatient or bored or anything? I feel like this will be my only chance with you and I better make the most of it and not spend time on anxiety. Uh, would you take the empty chair or pen? Took. What was your name? Sai. To Sai. Sai, that's your own chance. Make the best out of it. You know, the magic. Perhaps. Yeah. You're sitting there looking pretty stiff. What did you go up there for? Tracy. Now, the term I have for this is I do a script. You invent a scripted dialogue between two opponents. This part of integrating the fragmented parts of our personality. And they usually go in opposites. But this top dog, underdog, we have to talk about and state that. Um. So talk back. It's a he or she who sits there. Yeah. But he. Out. You don't know how many people have a she as doctor for this Jewish mother. For sure, I'm from her. It's <laughs> not a bad house. I don't know why I came up here. Just to see if, to see if he could get at me, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's a hell of an attitude. <laughs> you would think you have to fight with Fritz? Apple. There. No, I don't want to fight the truth. Prove it, I don't know why I'm up here. Who are you, Ayo? What's it to you? What's it to you? What's your right head doing? Playing with Lala, isn't it? Okay, can you invent a dialogue between your right and the left hand? Let them talk to each other. I'm going to hold on to you, left hand. Yeah. Makes me feel it. I'll hold on to you, too. Then let's go. Okay. I just, I look left hand, I just saw my left foot move. The feet move. Wonder what that means. It should all be back. Look at right thumb, my left thumb. I'm going to touch you. Rub you. 
That feels very comforting. You know, Rick, I was turned that. I went a whole wheel. That's very nice. I don't feel like holding anymore. Now look what you're doing. You're pressing your thumb against your fingers. Looks like eyes. Doesn't get worse, Tam? Yeah. But you look more like a eye of I do. Can you play the eyes though? Look, you go to the at the audience. Audience. Do you have eyes or has the audience eyes? You feel to me that you'll be looked at or you have your own eyes that can do some see. Or as I call this, many people are mirror draggers. They always drag the mirror a little bit, use other people for reflection. They usually have no eyes themselves. Yeah. Pretty true. I don't feel uh, governed by all your eyes. What do you see? And I'm really not looking to you either. And it's just comfortable to look out to you. But I'm not really looking at you. Scanning. Is that why? I think you all kind of are curious. And you'd care. And not too much. No, please, there. Take this check. I'm curious, but I don't care too much about you. I'm curious, but I don't care too much about you. Really, what I'm doing is waiting for my turn up there. You are kind of an interesting looking fellow. A bit closed. You don't look like you let go very much. Probably have a hard time getting any work done the way you're acting. But I suppose you don't know any other way to act. In seats again. I wouldn't exactly call that a caring comment. What would you call it? Repulse. I don't think you're on my side. I asked you. You just take care of number one. I call that a selfish comment. Bull. Where you are using up a lot of time. Yeah. Nothing's happening. Let's, let's get on with that. First thing will come to Lee. On number 20 or so. Oh, and yes, up there. Wait, just because 
Lay off. Said the secret. Lay off. Louder. Lay off. Louder. Lay off. Louder. Lay off. Und den soll ich verhältnis war. No one's trying to get you. Be back. Okay. Sure. How do you feel? And on my breast. How does the Lord appear to you? Curious, interested, caring. A tether. You'll see in your feet. Cushion. Slyway fatal. Creating it up. You'll see the colors. Now I do. How bad? After you mentioned it. You see any lights? What does... Or, 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 or. Now I do. But not before. Now, before I saw a lot of interesting people. I think before you saw your mirror again. You used them for mirroring you. They exist only as RS. They will be of interest to you. Yeah. Twenty. That's puppy. You noticed already something hidden inside. Something very interesting. That in the course of the development. When we put up a game, a role, instead of actualizing ourselves, that during this process, most people develop holes in their personality. Most of us have no ears. At best, they all listen to the abstractions, to the meaning of them. The sentences, usually they don't even hear that. Many have no eyes. They have the eyes project, they always feel they are being looked at. Other persons have no heart. Many people have no genitals. And very many people have no center. And without a center, you wobble in life. Now, those are a bit more complicated to investigate, but I'm sure that you'll come across these holes in the personality, too, during our work together. So, let's go on. I dream of tarantulas and spiders calling on And... Kate, first time. Kate, can you imagine I'm Lisa and you have the spider? Can you call on me enough? I'll let you do this. Up here, lay and do it, do it. <laughs> the likes tighter. 
we were our spider now that you dream. You produce the string in the heart. At the up and quit the touch to the fit. That's that we're thinking about. Covering the up. Yeah. No. Have you anybody who would who would like to take for of a spider? Into the bed. I'm seeing one that reminds me of a spider. Yeah. In that case, let's be satisfied with the dial or put the spider in the chair to the spider. I don't know what to say except to do it all come in. That'll be the spider. I want to get somewhere and learn my way and so I'll crawl with you. Bish it's him calling. Time to see. I feel like you're an animate thing, it doesn't matter at oh. all. Oh, so this is you. I feel as though you're an inanimate and it doesn't matter if I call him. Oh, because. I feel as though you are inanimate and pulled water of crawl. Say this to the pool. That's it. I don't feel that way towards the crew. You feel this towards Lisa? Towards whom do you appear with it? I see all that way. I think it's spider kill family. Oh, you're not a spider. Yeah. Can you see this again? I'm not a spider. I'm not a spider. Go on. I'm not the spider. No, I'm not the spider. Which means you're not what? Aggressive. It comes. I'm not aggressive. Give us all the negations, all what you're not. But a spider, I'm not like this. And... I'm not in action. Yeah. Ugly. It's fruit. I'm not black. The chai. I don't have any more than a true leg. I see all this to Lisa. Cute. You're not black and shining, you are enough true weight. You're not aggressive. You're not awkward. Please see it. Don't fit. Why do you crawl on? Try to skip. She sits on your own at the turn. Could you not in heart? I admit that that's not true. I am a port. Well, keep going. Well, something begins to be burned. Who says you're in port? Everybody tells me out of court. But so therefore, almost. The it's felt a delete in court in ten the or it's mentally healthy to be to feel self important and worth 
Sounds like a program, not like a conviction. You're in the truck, cry happy pope. Please sit sick. Often here. It's a bit of 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 I have ugly and I want to be beautiful. Despite the city. I'm ugly and I want to be beautiful. To a spider mother, I probably am. A lot of people don't appreciate spiders. Okay, go back and give the spider some. <laughs> Spiders are necessary because they keep the insect, the flying insect, populated. <laughs> Fires are fantastic because of the webs that they can do. Talk to him in terms of you. You are about. Because you are important because you keep the insane population down, and you are important because you build a beautiful web. And you're important because you're alive. I would like you to try and that the spider return the appreciation. We are recording because she are a human being and they are 50 billion of you and some what makes you go in Now you know just on the board yet her personality. Said appreciation. Lack of self confidence. The people have the feeling of birth and innocence someday. She's got a whore. They thought to her to fill the hole. It was up to the spider. If the. He can find. Well, find out. Let the spider give her some addition. A spider thing, I think of any time. Spider, please, stupid, yeah. Well, you know, she does some, you know, neat things that they aren't. She doesn't do them as well or as almost all that she can think of. Are you by any chance suffering from the curse of perfectionism? Oh, yeah. So whatever you do is never good enough. And see the street. There are. Yeah. He do things adequately that never right. Never per different. Tell her what she should be doing for the plan. Who said you never gossip about anybody who is present, especially not about yourself. Always make it into an encounter. You should be able to do everything and anything and do it perfectly. You're a very capable person and has got the make of intelligence to do it and with two. Ah, get the first appreciation you're capable. Is she admits that much. Oh, she was born with that. She immediately she, you see something good about you, it comes to spider and shits on. See this? 
Well, I think that's true. Yeah. Now we've got here the typical top dog underdog situation. The top dog is always righteous. Sometimes right, but not too often. But always righteous. And the underdog is willing to believe it or town. Now the a top dog is a judge, is a bully. The underdog usually has very canny endpoint. Controls the top dog with other meats like manana or your right, Paul. Uh, I try my best. I do this all again. Oh, I forgot. I tried so hard to forget. You know that gimmick? Oh. Okay, now play the top dog and the top key. The top dog sits here in the underdog bear. Why don't you ever do anything perfectly? Because I try to do too many of them. <laughs> don't have enough time to serve and such around. But I like to read. <laughs> when we like to read, keep date. What a me, Tom Tom. He has been also to improve my mind. Do you remember how big it is? I have to get them and join the analyzed. But I'd beat it with the paper. Say this again. Say this again. Say this again. I dare you. I have to get some enjoyment out of out of life that sides the imperfect. Okay. This time I want to introduce a new element. Let the talk talk go on talking to her. And I want her each time to answer back, fuck you. She would have to stay. But you have a far ability to yourself to fulfill yourself. And with the most out of life. And it's serious, the most staring. But so. Prof, you. Wait, I'm not bothered. Fifth is going to the top drops right. Say this. It was. But you're right. Who is it, Papa or Mom? Or both together? And you're right. Is it Papa or Mom or both together? Grandma. Grandma. So put Grandma in that chair. Everything you say is true. But I want it. I like to try to look good on a I might be completely off. Secret so know you're a spider. It's the connect. It's the It's the best of the moment. Grelo, you're a spy. Tracy. The red and 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 the Sit 
I have a connection in your computer. Close your eyes. Right. And enter your cell. What do you experience, right? Let's step and connect deep. Begin to repeat something. Yes, I get fire. What do you feel? What do you experience, person? Feel like I was fire sitting around and I want to go do something. What do you experience with this by this? You have like the last of tear. No, the anxious with the spider. If a spider really would call over you now, what would you explain? A drain when they jump and scream. Oh. Did you? Spider still there. The choke her ping down and scream to walk to his tongue to get it off him. Can we hear you dead boys? Are you aware that you're talking literature? Say this again. Say whether you can believe me. Quite screaming. Oh. How would you scream? I, I don't know if I could do it. I can hear it at all. Before I do, it just drummed the hell. Oh. You have to stretch your to scream. Say this to you again, my brother. He ought to stretch his screen. Okay, apparently we would have to do quite a bit of work to get to this rupture to this army. But I would like to spend a few minutes on the phone key. You mean it's too couple? I want you to write the script. A good girl and a bad girl talking to each other. I'm a good girl, I do everything my grandmother wants me to do in so far. The bad girl says, Fuck you, mother. The bad girl, you bad films. I'm the bad girl and I use all my cocaine jewels to the greatest degree from my, as my grandmother would say, God given me creative abilities, my God given is a teller truth to him appearance and whatever and just a very nice person and I get along well with everybody. At very nice three year old which you know the main text element. He said I have a very good time that yeah. you can go past it, John. Well I can think of it and it's a bad real they're supposed to Tell about the doctor and me. He had to dominate. You don't enjoy your stealth, or I don't enjoy my stealth, or we 
swallow around it. And it wouldn't be bad and you can regress. Now this is a point which we would call the impasse. This way she's stuck. Here we the good girl again. When you listen to me, we had eight different kicks being good. He <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have no self discipline whatsoever and greatest joys in why productive. Greatest joy in life should just be experience. But for butter? We have a little here and never. We have a private consultation with Jim. You bad girl. This is this you eating so bad. Jeff asked him. Walter, would you think my bad girl's so bad? Pardon which way you feel best. Up there now. We either want us. Shit. This is the impasse. You're stuck. You're stuck. Your bad girl isn't bad enough. That's because she's only speaking in general. This would be in All that make and not think. I do too. The bad room. They're plotting. That's the female observation. That's the third hot web. Oh, Alan. And it's very under the climbers. I like it. He like a curse of it to do this. Yo, it's a powerful board. It ruined with them. Right? It's a bad adult who says, though, Vandro, we must more fun. The Vandro is almost evidence to be bad. In hurry to the thrift of the denominator of its I was hoping you'd feel better being bad after the other uh, fifth. The heart of a bad girl doesn't really feel too self righteous, and which is a pun of the face that the good girl would like to give up. What is that? Six, three, four, eight, good, for kill. Being unproductive and uh, uh, the uh, greatest potential uh, for bad is what good my bad disapproves of and good is what my bad then my bad proves to me. Leave me. Leave me. Why not think of yourself? It won't. When grandmother you have it now. When grandmother feels bad, she calls you bad. When grandmother feels good, she calls you bad. Why not do you use your own bag in the court? And she, she simply killed your soul. And the whole potential of your soul is missing. Ever. Oh, dear, it's mine. Find soul? No, it's all mine. So there's a just a little bit of your potential used. I don't see any usage of your emotions, of your femininity. Of your joy, joy the people, or the wasteland. So, ultimately, hello. What's your name? Uh, Lear. Lear. And the luck is and the me crown me of it. Me need it. Me crack. Oh, I'm in an in an incomplete child, and I'm climbing this hill. In describe what kind of house you are. Well, it's tender. I am. 
And the hound. Yeah, the hound. And the hound is an egg. We are in the house and I'm incomplete. And I have all in the, the skillet. But the glass, I crowded the floor. But the stairs are there. And I, I don't have the rail to protect him. And yes, I do find. Yeah, make Fill the house. Fill the time. And yeah, I'm clang on. Yeah. And, I don't know. And then I, I end somewhere on the top, and it and it leads nowhere. Says this to to my my not nearer nearer. You the house and talk to Nira. Or you climb me or you, and you're getting no there, and and then he might fall. You the be fall quickly. You see, that's what I try to do: climb on you and get nowhere. A long time to you even could identify with the house. I see the same thing some people here as the house. If you try to climb on me. If you try to climb on me, you'll fall. Can you tell me more what you're doing to them with it, right? And live in you and so. Are you a comfortable house to live in? No. I'm open. And I'm protected under when So I'm um, and, and this whole climb on it are you full. And and it will judge you awful. Begin to experience something? What do you feel? I want sight. Say this to the house. I want to fight you. I will tear a bust. I do. I don't want it. I all of the pies I don't want to me. I don't even want you to see me cry. I was granny feet. I don't want you sitting with me. To the seat. I don't want you defeating me. I was strong enough his arms, T. I don't need you when I, I wish I, I wish I don't need you. Okay. Let the stairs have an encounter with a non existing lady. Bleedings, where are you? Okay. Well, I can't live without you. I'm, I'm climbing to it. It would be nice to compare to you, though. It's, it would be nice to become weak. I have some base on top of the concrete. With the glass, tall it still. What kind of floors have you got? Concrete. <laughs> Pen. Concrete. In trips feet. Uncovered. Pretty cut. Hmm? Good solid foundation. Yeah. Can you tell this to the cool that you have solid foundations? You can walk and it's safe. And, and we could leave with it to down by the thing when the wind is uncomfortable. I'm defending it. 
You wouldn't need to be complete. I don't know. I, I don't think I need. I just feel like I want more. Papa. Or can we make the house a bit warm? It's still. Cover it. Closed. Pit winder. With wall. There are things. Night dog. Bit of the bit of the wall card. Okay, can you all we all the supplement? Or what's missing? And talk to the incomplete house. I am here to complete you, to supplement. Um, I'm here to put what you know is oh. You are is in fact if you do in the to dead or in much nicer as in this in you and receive that maybe Tell what you're willing to and brighter and softer. How do my scholar to the more that there is a cottage and it's turning some stuff to say bright street to you. I'm eating. She has seat. His incomplete town. The bar. Why do I watch it? I know it all watch it. That. I don't know if I if I did a poor deed. The best thing, but I think. Well, if you think I'm worthwhile, and then then you're good, then you'll try and death and until everyone lets them steal my thing. Remember? War. Aren't you really to fall? Me, aren't you? A school's cuddling. Oh, you're covering. You have plenty of Well, it would send you to the marriage. Late with us and the court. Let them get on it. But this is left to do. Do the note it. Yep. Do the fact. Well. Does this was a left I must have taken her away and the queen lady not but it's staying for her. Let me say something more about the dream. It all together. You see the whole idea of repression is nonsense. If you look, everything is there. Now, the most important thing to understand is the idea of projection. Every dream or every story contains all the material meaning. The difficulty is to understand the idea of fragmentation. Now, Nara's uh, projection was the incomplete house. She doesn't experience herself 
of the beginning is incomplete house. It was projected as if she was living in this house, but she said it's the incomplete house. What's missing is warmth and color. She admits that she is, as soon as she becomes the house, this solid or very often the projection is not even visible, but it's obvious. If I have a staircase without railing, it's obvious that the railings are somewhere in the dream, but they're missing, they're not there. The railings should be there so forward. The warmth and color should be there so forward. But we find a very, apparently very brave, maybe stubborn person, a chin major. A okay. And Marge, do you want a drink? You see, the first step is, I always listen especially to the first things. The first step is you put responsibility on to But the yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm in a, there's sort of a war going on. I'm in Ohio and I'm trying to get home to Michigan, Grand Rapids. And, um, Kilo Littleton? Pardon? The Little Fair? Yes, he was my minister. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I need. Um, but, and I, um, it, it's the like of the Second World War. You got, you know, you got to show, show the ID and everything. And, um, or like movies I saw of the Second World War. Uh, for some reason, I haven't got the ID, and I, I'm with another woman, and I don't know who this woman is. I, I can't remember. <laughs> um, but anyway, we have an awful time, and, and we're arranging to, to go across uh, Lake uh, Erie, and, and um, uh, sort of be snuck in, like, or if, like the, with Grinch Underground or something. And I, I'm, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get home. It's a main thing. But I can't send you gear clear. That's okay. Can you play the frustrator here? So ten a frustrating? Yeah. I March, I don't let you get hope. I put obstacles in your way. Okay. I'm not gonna let you get home. Just keep talking. Yeah. It's the word it you the frustrating part in yourself. Get this out. How, see how well you can find a bit much. It prevent her from getting home. At the end of the month. Um, well, you gotta take this route for the ever out or for some other way. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep you from, from getting there. I'm not going to let you remember how to get there. First, I'm going to get you doing too many other things to get there. Too many other activities. <laughs> I have to let you cross the lake. Still. Okay. I'm just gonna keep you all. Do this again. I'm a... And the, I, I'm gonna keep you doing it. I'll do this tomorrow. Do to me. I'm not sure you're the first take. I stay back before you are. Don't pull ahead. Two seats be marching. But I want to go ahead. 
to this again. But I want to get there. Yes, it's. I'm not gonna let you. I'm too angry at you. I am not going to let you go get there. I'll go writing the script. Go on with the script, the dialogue. What the plot? The plot two. So, keep them. Not sure where I'm going at the minute. I'll... The people on it. I heard. What's your right hand doing? I noticed a few times. What's my what? Right hand doing. It's scratching my head because I, I am care of busy. What? Take care of busy. Take care of business. And honey. I think where I want to get is I, I, I want to to find, to, to get to myself. That's the home. That's right. There's a beautiful poem by Hölderlin in Heidegger, one of the first extensivist, writes about it. Homecoming means to come into your own, into yourself. And you prevent yourself from homecoming. And you already said you prevent yourself from being angry at yourself. Yeah, but I really am. The angry me is winning, and he keeps keeps buying a maturity or something. And uh, she's winning. And she's, she's preventing me from strong maturing, I guess, for, from finding myself. See you next time. I'm angry at you. Oh. I'm angry at you. Um, I'm angry at you because you won't look at me. I'm angry at my mother because she wouldn't listen to me because she wouldn't have loved me for what I was. Okay, so we have to switch the encounter now between you and your mother. I know you called me selfish. Whatever I wanted to do, what I wanted to do. And Mr. Psychiatrist, you're calling me selfish in the same way. I can't seem to get beyond it. So I... I Mother, if I, if I did what you did, I, I became weak. I, if I did what you wanted me to do, I became weak. But I, I stayed selfish. But you were selfish. You always want to get, you know, the other guy you want to eat, you want us and get, you know, me first all the time. And you think only of yourself. But if you're not happy, then by God, you're going to get there somehow. I really don't know how to um, become unselfish. I need you. But you there look at me, what do you want from me? I need, I, I had trouble staying, staying with it. I, I, so I get stuck, I can even pass. Are you actually feeling the impasse? I can't find. I actually not feel it. How does it feel to be the impasse? How to cop out? I don't like it. Dad, you know, I shouldn't do this. I'm... Good. What the hell am I mad for? <laughs> oh. But this is all I do. I get, I then thin a group of people. I get a five people. I am thinning where I can't get in my feelings. Because I feel, I feel self-conscious or something. Tell this to the court. I can't bow to you. And I don't mean to, but I do. And this is, I think this is the angry me and me saying, Marge, you know, you're not going to get there. 
we take it for it. All right, close your eyes and cop out. Go away. Go to any place you like to. Pay what you bought. Want me to turn around now? Do. Lake Michigan, watching, walk, walking along the beach. By yourself? Yeah. Yeah. And? What do you like it there? Pardon? Yeah. But what do you experience there? Well, I, I like the water washing my. No, thing and gets my feet. Well, I guess that's for a moment. Prior to home. Clear, we have a carnage there. I guess I feel whole when, when I'm walking on the beach. Now come back to us. How do you experience being here? Can you contrast the two experiences? Which one do you prefer? I like being here. What do you experience here? A lot of nice people. I love interested people. As Marge speak, you want to say friends? Yeah. Yeah. That's the... All right. Cop out again. Go away again. I want to go away. Okay, you feel more comfortable here? Yeah. There's still something incomplete. Ah, you just interrupted. But I to, yeah, no, no, you're cheating. Oh, right. So let right and left talk to each other. Right, you're going like that. Oh. I want to hide you. I don't want to hear But I want to hide you. No, no, don't hide me. I'm going to go one day. I gotta grab you and hide you. Well, I'll just let you be. And don't need to hide. Say this again. I don't need to fight. I don't need to hide. I don't need to hide. Loud. Hmm? Loud. I don't need to hide. Send this to your mother. I don't need to hide. Did you see this to her? Did you just see this? I don't know. Lord. Oh. What do you mean? Been there. What am I hiding from her? That is a sexy point of request. The main question, of course, what do you need the mother for? Or do you carry her still around? No, I like carrying her. Go. I must want to. I must want to stay uh, at them. But her is in my A sheep. I'm hard. You think you lost your ID card? Are you hiding it? I think I'm hiding it. That was the other portrait. So. Hey, there is. I think my sister. What's maturity? Please, there's one thing that's taboo in Gestalt therapy, mind fucking. You just start this book. I know in book therapy is the main occupation. To clear it. But we want experience, we want reality here. What do you experience with all this? 
the, the fields. I didn't like it too well. She didn't speak up. Okay, I didn't. I like too much interference because I'm trying to concentrate. Trying to concentrate, but a squeeze. Give them my feelings for my money. This is an effort. Sometimes. Now say this to your mother. Okay, mother, sometimes it's an effort to give my feelings toward you. That I really don't want to hide myself. I don't want to be what you want me to be. I want to be myself. Take care. I want to be myself, mother. That means no, no. being selfish. It means being selfish, damn it. No, no. Okay, I want to be myself. I want to be me. I want to let me come out. And if it means being selfish, it means being selfish. Now see, it's with your whole body. Okay, I want to be, I want to be me. I've got to be me somehow. I'm not going to be what you want me to be. And you still say it most of it is with your voice in this part. I guess is still dead, not involved. Sit, get up, sit with your boss. Then we have. What do you experience? A little bit of shyness. See this, see this to your mother. Mother, I'm shy. This. I love all these people, but I'm still shy. So, go back to late to your cabin there and see it there. And that. Can you see it there? Yeah, I can, but I can't go back to my cannon very easily. Where, where would you be comfortable enough to say it? In the room. So do me. Can you stop it? Oh, okay. Heavy on that beach. Okay, can you go there? <laughs> Shout it across the street. I Okay, mother, I want to be me. This is still, uh -huh. still false. Can you feel it? Still Parisian. Now, we have to pick up something else, shyness. Can you dance shyness? Can I dance shy? Do. I'll let you share goods. One more. One more. One more. One more. One but then I want studio as well, yeah. Careful. How do you feel about this job? Well, good. Well, look at how to enjoy it. Now try again to say it to your mother. We yell it out. <laughs> I don't give her the yell it. Yeah. As long as I have some feelings that you actually get the message because. <laughs> The chart may do because the lot comes in. Or her. See this to her. Like. Ah. Now you're getting to your impress. Now see this to her. She's dead too, so young. Yeah. Don't you still carry her? She's not dead. Well, can. Okay, mother, I, I can't say it to you because I love you too and I want you to love me. And that's it. I want you to love me, so I do what you want me to do. Damn it. Okay. That's right. I want you to do what I want you to do. But I do love you. But it was just hard to get at you. Because you were selfish. And I decided that I wanted a boy I didn't want to do. Well, Mara, I want to be a boy. Tell her that she's selfish. Yourself is, damn it. But you didn't want me, you want a boy. And you got me, and look what happened. 
He got a big, tall me. He didn't know what to do with. But I gotta be me. Can you say, I got to be a girl? I gotta be a girl. It's It's hard to say. Again, you're stuck. Go on, be a boy. I love her. For corn. With. I gotta be a girl, mother. And I don't feel like a very pretty girl. I think they're very direct. Somebody wants to be helpful. I try to that. They're just a bit thick. If I can see the ideas. I can at times, but other times I can. Not be again, play coy again. Shy? Well, you call it shy, I call it coy. I am not. Dear old Bradley's key. I see. So they can't see that you have no plate here. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bear. <laughs> this was my guess. This is your embarrassment. What? This was my guess that this is your existential embarrassment. Supposed to be a boy without a break is not much of a boy. Fleet poet. It's kept up for me. That page not put. I think it's eight. He has a gene. Such commerce a great deal with my land, and the first I would say that I have two children. Or six and eight. Yeah, I noticed that you're doing with your left and you depressing something. You depress yourself sometimes, you get depressed? Oh, it was not very much. My heart started pounding, and I think I'm trying to depress my heart. Uh, uh, so, lose your mind. Yes. And enter the pounding. If you work like this, any psychosomatic experience get the preference. Become aware of the psychosomatic and stay with it. Pay attention to it until it has become assimilated, becomes part of yourself. The next most important thing to attend to is if you want to go away, shouldn't you be reluctant to go on? Go away, withdraw to any place you like. I think we had only one case we had somebody go away to a, a more comfortable place. This withdrawing, this going away, will provide the material that's need to solve the present situation. Okay, now close your eyes and enter your body. What do you, how do you speak with yourself? First to pound and throw in my body, all see I'm neat, and to start to subside. So it's subsided. No. Wait. Down. No. As I mentioned yesterday, anxiety is always due to the inability to be in the now. As soon as you go into the future, you get anxious. And then you have to fill the hole between the now and the future with all kind of crap. Insurance, policies, or uh, good resolutions, or planning, or grip determination. And all these things that uh, are there to cover up the anxiety. But the very moment you are in the now, you become creative. You use like any child, whatever is available. In the future, you can't use what is available. You can have always to construct and get things in for these artificial goals. 
All right. It was night, and as the dream started. Always in the present tense. We try to recapture as much as possible of the aliveness of the, of the dream. You always dream in the present tense, and you always dream the most absurd dream as being real. And that's correct, because every dream is real. It has a language which is often difficult to understand at first. It is night. It is night. Dark, although there is a street light outside, and so there's lots of shadow of this color of the dark green, black, dark, and so But there's color in me. And I'm in a state where I'm like three quarters asleep, but one quarter awake and sort of knowing what's going on, but I can't. I, I don't care enough about it to really pull myself out of my sleeping state and do something about it. And my little girl was eight and awakens and she opens her window and climbs out of the window and pouring rain outside. And in a sense I know she's doing this, in a sense I'm I'm drifting and asleep and I don't do anything about it. And then after a while the pounding on the door, and a priest and his very capable woman assistant come, and, and they have come to return my little girl to me and to chastise me for having allowed this to happen. And they come in. I don't invite them in, but they come in. And I tell them to be seated, and I go off to put Carol back to bed. And I stay with her for a while until I think she's all quieted down. And then I go back in the living room, and and there's them there. And so I offer them a cup of tea, which they accept. And about the time that I begin to give them the tea, I hear a noise in Carol's room. And so I go back into her room. And she's sitting there by the window, and she's with a cigarette. And I tell her to put out her cigarette, and she won't do it. And I guess I become so frightened by this and by the fact that she won't do what I tell her to, that I spank her. And when the screams come, the priest and his woman assistant come running up to see what's happening. And then they, you know, they see me sit right and they see me spanking Carol and. They a little bit, and they leave, and they, they go back out to remember them. And, you know, again, the cigarette is put out, and I, I stay there, and I think Carol's out of sleep. And I hope to hell they've gone away. And I go back out in the living, and they're still there. So, am I an the third for an minute or two? I don't know. At any rate, they're there, and I go out there, and I don't remember what happened. But I get that. Pretty soon, I hear another noise back in the bedroom, so I go back in the bedroom, Carol can what? What does he do this time? He <laughs> needed a drink it and the tea. Well, this time she has opened the screen and opened the window so that she can go back out in the rain again, but she stopped to have another cigarette first. And I'm pretty nonplussed by this. And I I don't spank. I, I just take this cigarette from my front curtain, and I close the window, and then I light out of turn until she goes to sleep. And go back to the living room. What? Go back to the living room. What happens there? Well, I haven't done this yet. And then uh, finally, when I do get back to the living room, the other kid. Yeah, yeah. Don't disturb it. And and that's the end of the chain. Here, are you asking me if I Yeah, I just want to see the, you see the message. I suspect that I'm not from there. Yeah, too. And I suspect also that there are things about my children that frighten me. Both of them have minimal brain dysfunction, and it's it's very hard for me to to raise them and and to do this by myself and only will live in what have you at the same time. There are many things that happen. Are you paid to? No, I teach it. There are many things that happen with Carol and Alex that, that uh, 
I don't fully understand and I certainly can't control. And uh, many times I'm very unsure of what I'm doing, not what's happening. On the whole, I love it very much. But nevertheless, I, I am insecure and, and being real. Uh-huh. And sometimes I'm very secure in the events. But the dream is very exciting to me. Well, let's start from the beginning. You are three quarters of a sleep. Can you play this? A sleep. Sleep. Feet. How do I call it? Hang in three quarters to you. It's a foggy state and where I sort of know what's happening. Wait. Not ready to do it. Go on. And um, uh, although I sit and don't deal with it, I know I should. Don't deal with it. Don't deal with it. Just surrender to your state of days. Good days. Yeah, and so I just pull the covers up and warm and light there. Because they could be. For when all hell Hell breaks loose? Yeah, it's in, the, in that all these upsetting things happen afterward because in the first place I didn't go deal with it when I was on how wet the days was. Now be careful. Drive the dream again from the point of view of Carol. He flung it on stall with the basic reality. Does flat and tone on heart stacks to bow? Proud and Carol. I wake up and I'm with a rant. Start outside and see the street light, and the rain is calming down, and I light going up. I can make rain. For no. And it would be fun to go out walking when the rain at night by yourself, Mr. So it's supposed to do this. And usually I don't. I let you go out. And so I hope in my venue. You can go out in the night. I can't remember how loud it has. What do you expect, Bucky? Beautiful outside at night. The seat floor is a different way than you see in the daytime, the different colors and the shadows and depths that you have a number at the air. Very deep relief. It was so highlighted. And that there aren't other people about. Usually, uh huh. And the rain comes down clean, wet. And the street keep. And here I am in town. I get out there, the lot of rain, and I'm bright and lovely, and I'm happy. And the high. To bed. And a priest and his assistant come and apprehend me and take me back to put me in my. Help to there. Why do you take me back? I want to go back a minute. I felt the point. I don't understand that. Right. I'm doing what I want to do. She sits. That. She does. But that's not what you're supposed to do. I know best for you. All for your own welfare. I uh, This is a very silly thing to do. You'll get all wet and cold and you might catch a cold. Besides, it might not be safe. And your mother would worry. The woman's assistant says yes. We're famous. So go on writing the script. <laughs> Them. 
you leave me alone? I don't need you and I don't want you. I'm not going to do Tell me. You're bigger than I am right now, but you won't always be. How in the dark? They think your time is going to come. You will find that there are things bigger than you are. But it's your right hand holding. Yeah, I'm not good. Yeah, I'm good. Who just took care of it? Well, I'm not doing it now, but Carol. I'm Carol right now. Oh, I'm, it's I'm not good. It's not good. Yeah, yeah. This process is. Yeah. I think. I see. Who it's Joel him in? Because Cheryl's doing that too, you know. All right. There, Cal. You will find that there are things in this environment, things in this society that are beyond your control, and you will be subjected to it. And there won't be anything you can do about it but live with it. Right. See how to talk in. Cal, it's a tip off. Here you may be right to a certain extent. Let me do all I can. I want to walk on your head. Why could I? <laughs> For a mother, what do you worry about? At the sun, the book. How do you feel about the tin floor? They're much driven. Read. Okay, I think the best you can do is on your own. Play more and more and you notice the solution. Steep with curl. We become wandered. And those paint. But I do other things. I've polished. This is tremendous interest in colors there. The chick. Now, again, let me emphasize, many of you might have been brainwashed by psychoanalysis, again. Uh, but if you want to get something real done for me, do not interpret, do not play intellectual inside games, or associate or dissociate freely or unfreely to it. Just become that big. Whatever it is in the dream, become it. Use your magic. Turn into that uh, ugly frog or whatever there is there. The dead things, the live thing, the demon. And stop thinking. Lose your mind and come to your senses. My name's Sam. I have a, a recurrent nightmare. Uh, I'm in a tall, tall office building, possibly in New York. And I've gone in to see someone. I don't have an appointment. It's nothing important. There's no good reason. I'm just going in to say hello. I have no idea who the person is. I don't even really care if I see them. I'm not sure where their office is. And the building has a large bank, two sides facing each other of elevators. There are maybe four elevators on each side. The elevators are open cage elevators, mesh around. And the doors are this way also, so you, as you stand at the door, you can look up, you can look down. And I get in the elevator and it's, it's unsteady. And there are lots of people running, going here and there, getting in elevators, getting out. And I go to different floors, and I get out, and it's the wrong floor, and I'm standing in front of the elevator, and it's there again. You know something? Yes. So you yeah. bore me. I'm sorry. No, I've been doing this dream for years. Yeah. But listen to your voice. It scares me. I do not get frightened here. Uh -huh. I don't hear any. Just listen to your voice. You talk to this if you're putting in a report about something.
Well, I, I have a, a great fear of high places. As I'm standing in the elevator, I, I'm always looking over the edge. It's a long lace down. Yeah. I don't want to get back in the elevator. Every time I get out, I'm not going to get back in. Say this again. I'm not going to get back in the elevator. Again. I'm not going to get back in the elevator. Again. I hear a little bit more conviction. Again. I'm not going to get back in the elevator. Jump. And no. Now watch what you're doing with your hands and your legs. Let's put it free and see this. I will get back into the elevator with your left foot. Oh, okay. Oh, see this again. Now you, now you have two legs to stand on. Not going to get back in the elevator. Who would you like to see with? Okay. I don't know if I want to say it to my wife or my father. I want to say it in the dream. I want to say it to the crowd. It's around me. Where hey, say this to the crowd. I'm not going to get back in the elevator. What does the crowd answer? Crowd really doesn't care. What does the crowd answer? Don't get in the elevator. So let's go on with the tree till we come to the catastrophe. There is no catastrophe. That's a dream. It goes on and on like this. I don't know how long. What's your job? What is what do you doing do in life? On the journey. On the journey. You enjoying it? Most of the time, very much. I need to think well, somebody who enjoys life. Well, when the dream started, I was in the retail business. I'm at Mount Inch Road. I'm probably quite able to have a film in Paris. I said it's standard. Now, this elevator of yours does go up or down. Quark. You didn't. I think it's going down more than up. I, I get on the elevator going both ways, but it seems to me predominantly I have the feeling that it's going down. Okay. Okay, let's start out with your being the building. What kind of house are you? Your house is definitely, definitely different from the Nira's house. Oh, yes. And this is, I make, important building in New York, mind you. A very tall building. Yeah. With many corridors, many offices. Have lots of people coming and going all day. Many things going on in my building. Business transactions. People seem people. <laughs> Damn. Six or eight elevators that are just kept busy all the time. They're, they're flimsy on theirs. They're not substantial. Okay, be a flimsy elevator. I mean, just a platform with mesh walls. I'm going to groove up and down. Old cable pulling me up, lowering me down. Lots of people. I'll tell the crowding in. I'll tell the bit. To your father, your wife. Tell him that I'm an old elevator. Here, we deal with that. Give me a napkin. A napkin. I'm an old elevator. I've been working hard, and I've been doing my very best. It's not good enough for either of them. Yeah, they can be. Yeah. But good enough for either. That hits home, that brings tears to it. I'm the elevator, and I'm... I've worked hard, but I, I fulfilled my function as an elevator. 
That's not enough. You keep pushing this elevator that ought to be let to do something else, whatever old elevators do. Well, the first thing, I'd like to know how it are they. What do you want? What do, you want? What do we need to pile up for? I'm always handling. What is it? I, 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 what do we need to pile up? I mean, true. Tell me that I've done whatever it is he wants me to do. To get approval? It's awfully him like you want, yes. It's just to say, you know, I'm pleased with you. But can't be your father say this, this thing. <laughs> I can say you're not as bad as I thought you were going to be. But something. Something? I mean, I... I said this right with it. No. Say this to you. That's not nearly good enough. About praying to have it out with me. Give, give him a few of your resentments. The resentment of the, the lack of of conveying to me that you've ever been satisfied with you, or pleased with me. Never done anything was right. Did you ever tell him that? It's okay. Hey, sit down. I can tell you that you almost, almost done right. That you've had lots of opportunities, but I've certainly given you every chance. I tripped And I really do like you an awful lot. Like, you just you never quite, you know, not what you were supposed to. Are you aware that the one of the two killers come in. The two killers, laughing and but. He gives you something, and then comes the crushing but. It's just the. But Dad, can't you just say to me, "You're good the way you are." It's all I watch from it. So this is good. I'm good the way I am. I am good enough the way I am. Are you sure? Can you say it on your own conviction? Yes. So, I feel him to go to her. You don't meet him anymore. And I can tell the chair to go to tell him, but I can't tell him to go to me. Oh, yes, you can. Is he here? No. Okay. You the fun under you. She was paid for fear. He can't take on me. Pipe. I did not take that. No, it went through. He might sue you. Then all that. That's the second. No, it would hurt me. Or hurt you very much. I have not hurt you. He's in Kim. You can hurt them to do stay. But it's sorry to keep her a few. She might just forget that. I tell him to go to hell. That's what you're saying, my Shinido. No. You shouldn't do it. I just give you the direction. You don't have to follow my direction.
I'm very fond of him. I like him. Now say this to him. I love him. I like you. Oh, yeah. Tell him what you like, Pat. I like him because he is for you. I like you. Now I was about to say to you the the, the very things that he did. To the project. Yeah, it's going right around in a circle. Yeah. Has it ever done enough? No. Say this to them. And he nearly did. You nearly did a lot. And tried real hard. You worked real, real hard. Wasn't quite enough. And two scenes again. Bad. And say that I've always done the best for you that I could. That I'm glad you're reading that. Is that I'm sorry that it wasn't enough. It wasn't for want of trying. But what's missing? We're all saying the same thing to each other. Yeah. What's missing? Tell me what's, what was missing. What you didn't say to me was that even though you've never made it, Never done what I expected or wanted or what you should have done. That, that you know that I have tried hard, that I have done what I could, and that you love me the way I am. Can you tell me that? And you know that I've always loved you. I've always tried to help you, do what I could for you. Why do I have to now say, I love you? And my son, I've always done everything for you. You know I loved you. What's missing? Well, it's there. Maybe he does it. Could you imagine embracing him? I do. You want me to imagine it here? Yeah. For Krim, what do you feel? I feel his shoulders, his whiskers. I feel his wall. I feel his strength. But the ability has no warm. It has no coldness. It has solid. Bland. It knows its function and what it's to do, and it does it. What do you feel about this deal? Right now, 
I... Well, I, I've gotten too much on the dream to, to know what to say on, on that, because it, it's been such a frightening thing for so long. And it ties in very neatly with the smell right here. So what would happen if you exp would express your lot of baby more emotionally and to your wife, to your father? But why a bit more warm? It's apt to be rejected, scoffed at, or ignored. It's nice that you love me, but go take out the garbage sort of thing. That could be. Well, you have to work still a bit, bit more. What's missing is the emotional side of your mind, the warmth, expressing it. I don't think we opened up something. The roots. Well, thank you very much. That's okay. You live with my dream. I have just one sense of amusement. In we call for when we dream this in my hand, just give it game to hear it. In it, my dream, I, I had. This dream just once, and it's seven years ago. It's one of the very few dreams I've ever been able to recall. Craig, we're running down the narrow streets of us, cobblestone streets of a European tied village. At breakfast. The tall, with not so tall stucco houses right next to each other. And suddenly the second story of the house, yeah, there's a window and there are bars on it. And there is a clean cut looking young man behind the bars. And I don't know him, but his name is Larry. And I, so I, I either am told or I know that he is behind those bars for having committed the crime of having been living with me. And I'm very upset by this. And I'm upset because we had, that we lived together. But we had not slept together. It is a crime. And I feel a desperate responsibility to Larry, for Larry, to prove his innocence. And I run around the town very frustratingly trying to find the authorities to try to tell and explain and, and acquit Larry. And I, I go to a gate of a town hall type thing, a window, and then nobody will see me. And I run up and down the town and I, and I, I can't get anyone to listen. I can't get anyone to hear and I can't get anyone to direct me to the people who are in whose hands Larry's fate is. And then the scene changes and I'm in a room with, this with a lot of women and they're all lesbians 
and they are they have accepted their their uh, they had accepted that they are lesbians and, and there's something commercial involved that I think it's jewelry that somehow is a payment to them for their lesbianship and I'm in that room and I'm being forced to participate. I don't like it. And there is a man who is repulsive to me, repulsive looking. He's who's tall and very thin, bony, and he has a cold, non-receptive face. He, his heart is cold. And he demands participation of me, my participation with the other girls. And I submit, and I'm very unhappy about submitting. And he takes my earrings away. Now, are you aware that you use and, 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 and? As if you're afraid of. Yeah, letting the events stand by themselves. The devil uses a peer. This goes on and on and on and on. Uh, I would like you to do something. I'd like to, you to start out, work on the dream all by yourself. And uh, see how much you've learned with last night. Anything. We spot. That should be good on. Yes. This is Mary. Barry, I, I don't know who you are, and it's funny, I don't feel any involvement like you. In a way, you're a, I'm a non-entity, or, uh, or I don't know what you're doing behind those bars. And you just sit there, you just stand there, you're not asking anything of me, and you're not giving anything to me. You're, you're funny. What are you? For an extension of you. And I won't do anything that you don't direct me to do. I don't care where I am. I don't mind being behind these bars. That's what you want to do about it. That's your scene, Betty. Good. Fuck you. Fuck you. I've got better things to do with my time. I, I, I don't know why I feel this responsibility to clear you. I'd like to figure out what extension of me you so far. So that. I'm in mobility. I'm your... I'm that wall, what you've been complaining about having and stuff to do. But then I... And I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> I'm not to take myself away, that's going to be your problem. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what suggests you have to me? Instead of saying end, say period, and start a new thing. Yeah, instead of it. Yeah, we're resting. Yeah, much less. 
period. Yeah. I'll tell the in the car. You stymie him. Period. Uh, tweet, tweet. If I could stop caring about you, I could turn to things that, except that I could turn to things that would bring me pleasure. You get in my way, period. You get in my way, period. It's my responsibility to break through you. To experience your immobility? Do you experience that you're not communicating, but producing sentences, written sentences? True. <laughs> I have the feeling that I have us mixed up. That I am the immobile one. At the bars of the wall met Rari behind the bars. Look at that in my aim. So you see, uh, always go along with the shifting scene. Now the scene would shift to a dialogue between him and the bars. This is the new opposition. Fudge. And the dialogue between Larry and the bars. A bit. <laughs> I am a bar, and I have, I am many bars, I, I am, I am a, a whole set of bars close together so that they, I can't be broken through. I'm secure top and bottom. You are, I am blocking you out from the world you want, and you are content to stay there. You're holding on to me, but I have nothing to give you. I am bad for you, and you hold on to me. I am willing to be destroyed by you. But I will not describe myself. But I hate you. Is the second? I hate you, Florida. I don't care, dude. This was not literature. It was real. Now you experience something. Enter the experience. Close your eyes and change from world awareness to self awareness. And aware of yourself. Hate and turn the ring, but not as much as I had the film thing. Work. 
and tempts him or cares. Pick for feet while you walk away. And on checking an urge to mull up into a thought. Self pity, a kind of mellows. Do this, Sidia. This is what wants to come out, so do this. I'm not really tired of doing it. Don't me. But I feel, I feel almost strong. I feel ready to take what I have to take to to the pits. It's flowed through that wall, and I have I have to wait till it comes to me to explode. I am impatient. But. No, I thought it feels. But let's let's go. Let's let them. Then a body feel the trimming. Could have I feel the trimming? Body feels. Uh, I felt it would instead of talk to me, talk to the bars. It's all between you and the bars. Or if you did. The bars I I I could get my head. Uh, the, you're not Mars, Bars. Oh. He put you're solid, and a bar is something that I could get my hand behind the pole and see through a red side and see a direction or something. See somethingness. But you're not Bars, you're a solid wall. So go, go with the change. There's no change into solid walls. So, go over there and be the solid wall. You're a stupid idiot. You know that the way to get on the other side of me is to climb over me. But you're really a, you're really a nut because the way you try to climb over me is you keep taking new blocks and putting them on my head to try to get to the top. And you know, maybe where I am, you keep at zero blocks to try to get grasp of the top. And you're really fucking yourself up. You don't want to get over me. I see that. And I see myself doing what you say.
fucking pet. You are my impasse. I don't feel myself doing what I see myself doing. Take that. With me. I'm not failing to help you. And yes, you are in passive. You are passive. But then, you know, bitch. Really? I feel that I want to help myself the happiness through a lot of shit because I don't count myself. Yeah. yeah, this is far as what to go. It's very dirty. No, uh, what I suggest you do is if you really want to work, right, and leave it down and get all the 15, 20, 40 items out and work on it to become it. Hem up whatever you want. Really transform yourself into the different items. And then out of these different characters and parts, start to make plays and counters. Each little bit will mean a bit of assimilation of something. In principle, you can get through the form, cure, let's call it cure, maturation. If you take a single dream, is everything is there. In different form, dreams change. But when you start like this, you find more dreams will come the existential message will become clearer and clearer. You notice how much in her behavior, the stone, the wall, and, and all the stair, just, and at the same time, a bright intellect and a chubbage. The main thing is notice how much she has achieved without my help. So, who of the early numbers has a dream? I did. Okay, one, two, three, so let's open here. The dream is, um, you leave it? Yeah. Help? Yeah. But the dream is a dream that's reoccurred um, twice. Yeah, those are the best, the most important dreams, the very current dreams for. For me, see a word here about Freud calls it to compulsory repetition. And he thought this compulsion of repetition leads to petrification and death in a state. And I believe it's just the opposite. If something come up, comes up again and again, it means that the Gestalt has not been closed. There is a problem that has not been completed and finished, and therefore uh, kin receded to the background. So, it's, if anything, an uh, attempt of being alive, of coming to grips with things. And very often these repetitive dreams are nightmares. Here's a date. Again, it's the opposite from what Freud thought that dreams are wishful thinking. In the nightmares, you find always the way in how you frustrate yourself. And to come to it. But, uh, well, it's a dream that I had when I was very young. I was about 11. It's a dream that was after I had gotten a typhoid injection and given me a fairly high fever, and I had this nightmare, bed night, and I also had it about three quarter days after the death of a dog that I was very attached to not so long ago, in the same dream. And do the dream in the present tense, and it's pretty hard because 
I've thought about it several times as to where I'm located in the I'll try to do that. The scene is a, a ridge of mountains out here in a flat desert, white sand. The sky is sort of a, almost a, a black blue, very dark sky with a moon casting a very pale light all over everything. And there's a train track crossing the desert in a perfectly straight line. And the train is coming along. And the sound that I hear is not just the sound of a train whistle, but rather a very high-pitched sort of electrical frequency. I like whine or whistle-like sound, but very steady. It hasn't got, uh, hasn't got a, a dimension to it. And I, I feel that I am in the sand, not directly in front of the train, but in the sand. I feel my head, my head level is in the sand. I can see. <laughs> and um, it's quite rich and, and yet oftentimes quite frightening, mainly because of the sound, which is sort of infinite. It never starts, it never ends. It just is there. And it drives very heavily on I, on me. And the train sort of never ends. And I'm pretty sure it's death of some sort that's being represented in there. I'm not sure that I'm a positive, but the fear, I don't know if I can express it. It's not the convulsive fear of an imminent catastrophe, such as the, the spiders of the tarantulas, like, you know, I'm ready to flip out. It's much more a very deep penetrating fear that's steadier. And as I, as I think back on my life, I think those, the, those two dreams are the only real feelings of fright I've ever had. You know, I don't know if I can elaborate and name it. I, I can't think of many other objects that know other people in the dream and being like to work good. It's still breaking the fit. So can you please the desert? I am a desert. What kind of existence would you lead if you were a desert? I would be a desert, I would... I would be... Sand, I would have no cons no construction. I would just be fluid sand that wove into e itself all the time and was blown by the wind. I would roast it during the day and be cold at night. Um, I would go on and on and on without a beginning and without an end. It's good. And if we were a ridge of mud, be pardon. If you were this ridge of mold, if I were a ridge of mountains, I would again roast during the day and be cold at night. I would have more character and constant continency. I don't know. I would give more or less sort of a backbone. And if you were this trade, that's the one that I really feel is. If I were the train, I would go and go and go with tremendous drive and tremendous direction, but never really accomplish. Not the end so much as being set out for as an end that's important. And it would just go and go and go. Came with it, but really go out. Yeah. And uh, let me tell you something how I see the structure of a neurosis. I see five layers. The first layer is the cliche layer. If you meet somebody, we exchange cliches. Good morning, Henshi, and all the meaningless token of encounter. Now, behind the cliches, you find the Eric Byrne or Sigmund Freud layer, the layer we will play a role. Uh, the very important person or the bully or the crybaby or whatever roles we choose to play. So those are the superficial social as if layers. And let me come to very interesting this mm -hmm. death layer or the implosive layer where people contract and nothing happens. And 
This is a very typical dream of pedantry. See from the desert. His uh, he has already the interpretation. He's dead. No life visible. But at least we see something stirring. The power of the trail. There's something that is somewhere. Not leading in area, but there's power there. Now behind the implosive trail, when we get through the impasse there, you find an explosive flare. And uh, there are at least four types of explosion <laughs> that, uh, let's call it a healthy person for the time being, must be able to experience. That is anger, joy, grief, and orgasm. Orgasm, sex. I especially say orgasm, not sex, because there's plenty of sex without explosion. Now, the explosions in themselves are not the meaning of life or existence. They're kind of an energy that bursts, so to say, a dam and links up with the authentic person. So that the feeling, the ability to participate, to have, excuse this old fashioned expression, to have a soul, to be emotionally involved will be possible. Once you're through the explosive layer, the authentic person, the real person, is coming through. Now you see, here, he's stuck in the implosive layer. But it's also twice coming in connection with real danger of death. So, can you play the train? Just be it. Be it. Create a No, no, just be it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a train. I'm a train. And I'm going somewhere. Yeah. But it's a hurry. It has direction. I have direction. I have direction. I have enormous direction. It's straight. On a track. But there's no home. There's no resting place at the end. There's a straight track and direction, the power of direction going with power. Uh, <coughs> I'm a train and the train doesn't relate with people. I, I don't relate with people when I'm a train. You go down the track. You carry people? Did you notice the glee that came? We didn't make it. It was nearly a smirk. In. No, I don't carry it. The carrot. But how? We were. What? Now I'm interested. What is your left foot to, to your right? Sort of exercising my knee. The exercise. Put to see whether this can exercise the knee, whether your knee can do some exercise on its own. 
Ya. The pit. So be the tricks now. Just a bit. Mm -hmm. Him for the creator. I'm tracks and lying on my back, and the light is running over me. I can't. So hey, at least we have the word life now for the first time. Now have a conversation between the tracks and the trade. And it be I feel like I can, I can just let my imagination go come up with things, but they don't feel right. But they are right. Is that what you want, or do you want me to try to pin it down to what to mean? Do so, you mean you want to bring associations? Well, what I'm doing is just playing. I mean, I feel like I can make connections, but they're just happening. Uh -huh. They don't feel legitimate. They don't feel like they're drawn from me, my my scene. Okay. In other words, maybe you're not so completely dead, but we are somewhat creative. Well, that's what it is. It, there's nothing but my, my own creation. Okay. So. All right. Uh, well, if I'm, the, I'm the train, oh, right. and that's the tracks. I ride straight ahead on you and follow where you lead, straight ahead to nowhere. I direct you, and I direct you passively. Your force directs you, but I channel where you go. I channel where your force go. That's it. And treat. Back. That's right. You can you control where I go, and all my force is channeled in the way you where you tell me to go. But I'm the power. I'm the light. You're inanimate, you're dead. What you do is direct me. I just had people into it. Should I put, pull it in and do it? Oh, it's that wonderful. Well, you are the So it's not the bed. It'll be the paper. And what I feel is that... Well, you got the first existential message already. You can leave two years an existential message. So then you already got the first message. We need people. <laughs> but mechanics don't do the whole thing by themselves. It put people in. Well, I feel like, like, I'm, like the train is me. The tracks are my mother. Well, that was the association, anyway. I'm sorry. I, I said that the train is my is me, and, and the uh, the tracks are my mother. And that would be the that I playing my mother as the tracks direct you. Uh, I am inanimate. I am dead. But nevertheless, I structure your your life force. <laughs> and although you are the life. I lead you in such a way that you're not unique, you're not your own. You know something? I don't recognize your mother's voice. I think you're talking literature. So play your mother. In my mother, uh, I direct you. This is how you speak? <laughs> I don't call them students. No, go back. Is the thing? Tell her that. I can't revive or reconstruct how you speak. 
potentie aan. You see, we pick up every experience and feed the experience back. Uh, Rogers found first the feedback technique, but he always feedback mostly sentences. We feedback the experience, the part that is alive. I can't reconstruct how you how you speak about it. What would you on? It's because you never listen to me. No, it's because you never spoke to me. You always spoke at me. Trying to direct me away from myself. You see, the desert begins to bloom. Something drive some beta things coming in. The earth gets... I never try to direct you. That That's what you always say. You never want to listen to me. You're just selfish. Uh, I know. I want. I only want what's best for you. Say so this again. I only want what's best for you. Perfect. Yeah, but you read as far away from knowing what's best for me. And this is uh, you're pretty far away from knowing what's best for me. But but you never you never let you never agree with me. You never let <laughs> you never do what I. <laughs> What I say ever, it's just like if I say it, that's because of that, you always do the other thing. That are we allowed to teach you to keep your mouth shut? <laughs> you got to try to pick up on where I am and who I am and let me lead my life and not. <laughs> And not try to control it. To the secret. And not try to control it. That's where it's at. Good. Yeah. Now let's try to go back to the dream. And to what will happen if the taint would leave the straight and narrow bar route, but jump to the rails. I mean, yeah, well, the desert balloon's pretty quick, and, and, uh, does it stay night all the time? But do they see the difference between the scene is, it, it's the creativity. Yeah. The problem I, that just comes to my mind is that I don't often feel constricted. I did. I feel I broke away from it. But I am creative, that I do my own thing, that I, I don't feel bound. I, I, I see how this thing's set up, but I think I saw it as a young boy. So I'm a Tom Rui. Uh, and I developed the counter techniques to the Jewish mother seat, which are equally devastating when I applied them to the world. But they worked for that seat. Now, I notice, you see, you're not restricted, but all the movements you do are usually just in your head. Once or twice, you meet a little bit of an excursion. But otherwise, to, uh, I can't do it quite get into your posture. It looks to me a little bit, uh, it was between a turtle and the football tetra. And then, yeah, that you fight with your head first. Yeah, I just sit forward. And she's more comfortable, though. All right. All right. What do you leave with my head? So let's finish up with some discussion between your head and the rest of your body.
Yeah. Abadi, you... You're apart from me. You don't really represent me. Yeah, Ken. But sometimes I represent you completely. Sometimes I am who you are. And there is no you. That's true, but that's either black or white. There's no, there's no togetherness between us. Either we're a body or we're a head. When we played football, you were the body. That was all we were. Have you played football? And when we play lawyer, draw your head. You're a machine, just a head machine. I have a suggestion to me. He should do two things. One is to get involved in expressive dancing, but to mobilize him. And the other is to get some either work treatment in her or her pupils. Either work treatment. Either work her uh, as a method of realigning the body this much with becoming the ram, the attacker, the tree, the blind energy. Because this is what the tackler is. There's no differentiation of the body. If you would dance, he would be attractive as a football tackler. But the fact is that he chose that. So in order to get holy get and be somebody, to get out of the deadly and this is, I think, a friend, very remunerate. One of it, if you can reward your body. You see, the third layer, the impulsive layer, is <laughs> just the opposite from explosive. In implosive, we implode, we contract, we pull ourselves together. Can then you become a thing, set the chain be? Yes. Dr. Oh, I had this dream that um, I was literally that I was my husband's mother, Venn and his wife, and he was a and a younger boy, and I'm down. When I woke up, it seems like I had a hard time getting back to reality. It seems the dream is forceful. More first. So tell the dream what's one of the present tense. Pardon? <laughs> the, dream, the dream once more the present tense. I, I am a mother and my husband is my son. And it's frightening to me. And I'm unable to come to terms with it comfortably. And I'm afraid. to one. It's overpowering to me, I get. Who's the power? Who's the it? It's all in the dream. Your meaning of the dream, it's overpowering to me. So put the meaning of the dream in the chair and talk to the meaning. Oh, it's the meaning is in it. I don't understand you when that in love uh, bewildered. I'm afraid to face that uh, face 
the possible meaning of the dream. What does the mini fatsa just? Why are you afraid to face things? Why are you running a one ear? Or shaking my bath and down? Um, <laughs> putting it out of your mind. We know that that's um, the way to keep a problem unsolved. It's this shake and put it inside someplace and make it safe and and it nods to her face up to these things. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what keeps the thing dammed up. Just what you're doing is getting behind this and not looking at it. Clap. Is that if you look at it, it shakes everything up all over again, and you're back where you were last summer with all those problems, and you weren't able to solve them. Yes, but now I'm not last summer, and I'm able to solve them. I'm able now. You're able now. You're able to stand on your own two feet. You were at that tremor. Is this what you want out of your marriage to lean on somebody? Or to have them lean on you and be their mother? It's the kind of grown up person that you are. Close your eyes. Stay with your experience. I can't. I'm too afraid. How do you experience being a play? I'm ready to cry, but I don't know how to... I'm being a big baby. I'm not going to do that. Say this again. I'm not going to do that. Are you? To solve it. I'm not going to be a baby about my problems. Thank you. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I hope I'm not. I think I am, but I don't want to. I want strength. I don't know where to get the strength from. So put strength in that chair, Dr. Strain. We can. You're something that I want. I want my own straight. Yeah. Let's have a invent an encounter between strength and weakness. Weakness sits here and strength that sits here. I look up to you. I'm sitting here weak and I see you're strong. And this is a thing I would like to get from you is strength. Is there, you said you're weak and, and shaking and hiding and cringing and out of it. Was it? Falling back on in these old conventions about how... May I suggest a change? Instead of saying, you are, uh, can you say you play? We play? Yeah. Or put on a performance of weakness, she. Do you think I'd perform now? Yeah. See this to about it's found out. You're playing weak, but you're not so weak. You really aren't so weak. You have a lot of potential and people are that demanding of you. Your children are that demanding and you're all of society isn't that against you that you can't do with your life what you really feel like doing. And your husband isn't that weak that he has to lean on you, even though he might come off that way. And what are you afraid of? Who are you afraid of? Now take play weakness again and tell strings what it does for you to play weak. And I play meat then, so and so. Oh. 
when I play weak, then I can just be immobilized. And I can continue to suffer these temper outbursts and act like there's nothing I can do about it. But go through life cringing, having a children cringy. I know. Not even being able to eat as a family without something happening. Well, play cry, baby. I know I am. Play cry, baby. You might cry. Hey, somebody to come to my eyes. So, am it up? I can't do that. Let me pick ultimate. I can't go ahead and doing it. He then it had covered it. It did her. I want you to help me. And yet I really don't want you. I want to help myself. I want you to let me feel strong. How can I get that from you? I want. Why do I ask it of you, Dr. Pearl? I want it myself. Okay, take my seat. I was to in the other one. And the pot down out that side. Stop that. My bus is three quick. Why do you want it for me? You've got your own lungs, your own heartbeat, your own feet, your own mind, and what the hell do you expect me to sit here and do? Take my heart, give it to you, we'll have a heart transplant, and you can suddenly start breathing your own air, making your own decisions. Well, you're right, Dr. Pearl, so then why is it that I feel strong sitting here and then when I go home, I'm weak again. Please always say I played with you again. I play weak again. You are weak. I play weak again. Why am I playing weak again? What do I need out of weakness? <laughs> Imogilin? Under. Ospite. The gout. Ospite. I've been in the gout. We need to turn on the system. I'm going to sell this to you. I'll be out of my throat. I'm going to sell this to you. I'm going to Oh, well, there really isn't any crit. There's an empty chair, and that's good. I'm glad. See this to it, miss. Fit? There's an empty chair, and you're just... I guess you're frustrating me, so I'll use my own resources. And you're being empty, which is good. And maybe all these other people, instead of being an empty chair, have been nothing but a big mouth saying, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. And play it safe. And, and it's your duty for those children. And I handle this. It's your duty and... You know what it's like to, uh, oh, uh, you know, the family is sacred and, oh, you're going to be punished in more ways than you realize. The perf. And, oh, uh, uh, terrible to be lonely and... Yeah, it is terrible to be lonely. But it, what is lonelier than to be afraid like you are now? And to pretend sometime to pretend and not mean a thing. And how can you help your husband when you're pretending? Are you going to carry him around on a pillow and act like, oh, if it didn't, if something hurts your feelings, then I'll have to do something else? And you know, Dom darn well that it's dishonest to do that and you do it anyway. Okay, now we have to cheat the sea and come back here with your husband there and Pearl is appealing. Yeah. And put him into Is he here? Cold. In this world? Yeah. Sugar honey, man. Oh, yeah. 
I like you, them to bring off three stuff for me, there's I don't want to fight this alone. I'm not meant to defend your position, just calling the sis because I resent that I'm up here now to and fighting the battle alone. And you're back there waiting to see what's going to happen, and you're going to react to what I do. And you're not going to act on your own. Now, you can be the opposite. I resent that you need me, uh, that uh, it's important for me to be up here. I resent that uh, you need my support. I knew it, sir. I resent that you uh, interpreted that I need you, your support. Squall, let's see, I didn't know. Do you notice you are not even looking at each other? Your eyes are going all over him. You don't even see him. <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of theory. The difficulty of every marriage that doesn't function is that the person is not in love with the spouse, but with an image what the spouse should be lying. And then rather to take responsibility for one's expectation, they start to blame again. You should be different from your virtue and art. We don't fit the bill. So, the bill is always right. But the real person is all. For Dr. Kennedy Channel, what he should be right. If he should. If so, he should. And we should be like. Of what I need from him. Maybe I'm not really guilty of what you're saying. What happened when you took your eyes away? You don't even do something. I guess I felt threatening because maybe I don't want to face up. Maybe I am a bit with a miss of what I want him to be like. And yet, how else can you be married to somebody without expectation and without needs and frustration when there are that brute no token? How can you be married without having ox and you own you? How can I be? How can I be married to you and not feel a sense of frustration when I feel a dream? A calling out for something in you uh, that I don't get, and when I so much feel like a leaning post. But now let's again simplify this. Let's start each sentence with I expect from you this and this. I expect less a chipping away at me, uh, less making me deny myself of things I legitimately need. Legitimate to have it in the contract. This we have a thumbnail. Any lawyer here? <laughs> well now I think I do legitimately need some things without having to have it in a contract. You legitimately need things. You need this chair and this table to do your work, Dr. Pearl. No, I don't need it. To do this work, you... Oh, I can do it completely without it. It's convenient. They're my props. Um, uh, what's the difference? I'm, I'm hiding something now. What is it I'm, I'm asking that I shouldn't be? Well, if you're not going to suck me in into a side issue, tell him what you expect from me. Give him call that. You should. You should. I can't do that because it isn't to, my job to tell him what he should do. As how do you contribute? I know what I need and I'm not getting, but I can't make what anything do you need? that. What do you need to this first time? Okay. Let's make it. I need a uh, comfort. I need to feel comfortable being the person I am. And I need not to ever have to pretend and I need not to have anger you to get. If you're avoiding, 
du eisen können er ruhig gehen. I need the freedom from being sort of be tortured when I stand up for my right. Being tortured by who? By him. Say this to him. Do I mean, truth of my being a torture. Why? Well, you're, you're smiling at me as if I'm saying something nice. And I'm giving all these things out that are unpleasant for me, and yet you're smiling as if I'm giving you this Medal of Honor or something. This upsets me too. So, what do you expect? I expect you to uh, accept me as a whole person. I most definitely ex expect you not to take out of the marriage the qualities, or not the marriage, but out of me, the qualities that you like best and reject those that you dislike. I expect you to give me the latitude, the freedom that I allow you to have, or as much latitude. Is it ever anybody's freedom, though, to... No, no mind fucking. Just to fill you up that good, you're bleeding like... Might as great for you, fucking? No, what am I supposed to be doing? Telling him uh, your expectation. Flying, dating him. Give him orders. Give him shoot. I beg to sit down at the table at night and have a meal, in a, a meal where no one is being picked on. This is one of my needs, and I expect you to take a more active part in important decision and sit down and pay the bill for me with me i don't want to be the boss and i expect you to reach out and take other things from life <laughs> and and not punish me when i invite people to the house how does you punish you punish you punish me by uh before they arrive when I'm trapped and there's nothing I can do but stay there, you start flaring up and screaming at me and shouting over something. And by the time they come there, I'm such a rough girl. Sorry I invited them to come. Tell them what, what he sh how he should be. Dear. You shouldn't trap me like that because uh, there's other times to solve a problem. Uh, You're always calling on me. What, what happens? <laughs> Try to find out what happens, what you experience at the second when you take your eyes of it. I experience um, this carrying them on the pillow because I know what it is. I know he's very shy of people. To the city. I know you're shy. And if, and if other people come, I know it's a big hurdle for you. But there's no way, way I can react. Who's inviting the people? Sometimes we both have invited them, agreed that we want them to come. We agreed. Is it true? Sometimes it's true. If you don't invite them in order to meet, put them in his quandary. No. Answer that, Barry. Answer that question honestly. The party for Carol? Well, you just answer the question. No, so. I won't plead guilty to that. I like people. And we fix their house up. We're spending a lot of money to fix up our house. Why? I don't know unless it's, I mean, it wouldn't mean that much to me. Though I'm put in a double bind, either you could live in a cabin someplace and, and spend your hair on in good time. But if you're going to make your house nice and presentable for people, then you can't even write the people that. Not really do me a favor. Listen to your voice and say the same thing in gibberish with the same voice. Oh, the same voice. Listen to yeah, you. I'm whining, I know. Good. No, no. Can you sit your blind and gibberish? What's in you tell give me anything of the Sorry. I'll plead guilty to that. I talk to you when you the song.
It, it's gibberish when she's speaking to me. Bye. Do it again, fam. No, you I said you button. You were jibbering. Um full shit. <laughs> that is your bird. Yeah. You speak in Jibush. No, no. Worship. Yeah. No, you talk pants into it. M conversation too. I, I don't know uh, what else to do. I don't feel like whining. No, I'm the thirsty, thirsty. Yeah. It's going to be that train. Okay, I just. Man, yeah, walk me a check. Now, how would you react to somebody talking to you like this? They're right there. I was uh, I was uh, treat them like a crybaby. Don't do that. Okay, it's Peter like a cry. You go ahead and you go you go on and cry. Make yourself heard. You you're being you're being a, a, a little child when you feel that your little toes have been taken away from you. And when you want to invite people, I'm you want me to be all exuberant and all that when all I am is just my own person, the way I am, you want to change me over, and when I don't change over, then you, and you start the tears, and you start all that crap that's also turning me on, and make me feel sorry for you, and I just simply won't feel sorry for you. Yeah, me, I, I, me, and repeat myself, and quote something for for the red yesterday. The poor me game is also known for being quite infected. To make the heart that seems withdrawn and cruel and rejected, turn on your easy flowing gears, my lovely, corny beauty, until mascara runs and smears her photogenic beauty. But, but what is a temper outburst but tears in disguise? Unintended food. Okay. Can you exaggerate your playing the tragedy queen, the pool has taken? A dungeon. Look what you're doing for diamond quieting guests. Hey, but. <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to do is end you, Fritz. Uh, I really was going to think I have a bit of a bad feeling on my own back, but I think it was being with the paper out of the Tony Dummy thing, it's kind of fast. We'll take we'll take them all together. And the church that we have been we're taking. Griffin, I'm not doing you a dirty. No, I'll handle my own. Alright. Alright, what would you do? As somebody if you invited somebody up to your place. Let's say you're married. That's and it, Somebody agree to me. She is getting straight now. This first. And I feel stronger. I do. Not long, grand thing that doesn't, I don't deserve. Now, let's say somebody's coming to your house. And in a certain, to a certain extent, you are helpless. <coughs> All right, I'm the mother again. All right. To a certain extent, I am helpless. Uh, do me one thing. Talk a bit more from here. To a certain extent, I am. <laughs> Because it's, you are t uh, trapped when people are going to come, you went by them and you've bought the boot and you don't want to go to the phone and call them and say, well, gee, I'm sorry, I have a headache. I'm not this kind of person anyway. I don't have a headache. I'm not going to call people and say I do. The truth of the matter is that my husband is having a temper tantrum. Okay, now go to the phone and telephone tell this to the people. My husband has a temper tantrum. I'm sorry, but I can't have this party. My husband's having a temper tantrum. He's screaming at everybody. Then I'm crying, so don't come. I'm going to get that. 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 I'
Bart is now we don't sound weak anymore. You know. This is both. And there's oh, I want the way to go to the job. You do that. Maybe you would lose this job. It didn't know that. It's for you not to answer. What? He did that. I didn't I think that's the I'm telling you. Well, no, you're a good actor, Harry. Because you're sitting there as if I'm making all this self. But be honest, maybe you should get involved. Maybe these are your problems as well as mine. There's one thing that I was hoping that would come across and that you would be able to get angry and get angry right now and have your say and then forget it instead of crybabying for weeks and months and maybe days and hours over something that happened way in the distance. And if you can get it to the surface and have it out and have your anger and then forget it, but maybe she's a collective grievances. She, she is also the um, historian of the grievances. <laughs> and the some people put it stems, other could be really happen. They were what would you do? And you clear to let go apart. Good man, dear chat. Do you tell me what you would do? Why you got familiar with the thought? What's the thing of them? You would like yourself. What how do you get Oh nice pointing chat? Please give me the fault. I'm so weak. You would know much better. You're so wise, so bored, so rude. You solve the problems for tea and drink of more skillful liking. You're saying then that I'm a grievance collector, that somehow I don't have this problem. I didn't dream that. I came out here to tell you that I dreamed it. And then I do perceive myself as kind of mothering him. Now, uh, I feel like I haven't gotten anything that I can use up here. Right. Clyde, Clyde, is that true? It's true. Nothing you can use. Paper. Well, uh, how am I blocking myself? You are blocking, you don't block yourself, you block me. Why do I? I don't want you to help. I'm dead. <laughs> so, play Quincy. Oh, Bits is all you are. It's a new f your personalized bits, but the initial head. What? What did you really want me to say? Can you? Did you really want me to say that you were in the right and Harry was in the wrong? And because if you wanted me to stay bad, well, what good would that have done? Did you want me to say that the prescribed thing to do when somebody loses their temper is to do thus and so, that there's any formula for that? The only formula is something has to be built in your own way of handling. Virtue is losing their temper, and so far all you've done is cry and then call on all these these so-called uh, taboos that you have in your mind that you don't dare do be nasty to the boss or embarrass your husband in front of the people. You don't dare stand up for your rights because somehow the world's going to cave in and swallow you up. And if I tell you that, I'll be telling a lot. Well, Fritz, somehow or other, you made me feel like you ganged up against me. Till there, Fred, at least, if it has to gang up against. 
could. No, I, I'm afraid of your friends because I probably am hiding something from myself. This crybaby thing. Uh, it's become a pattern maybe that I've enjoyed. The helpless for me. I need advice, and what do you do about a temper that your husband has and the crying that you do? Yeah, may I talk to the one, because I would once more reformulate what I said in this chapter yesterday. Maturation is the transcendency from environmental support to self-support. The new art instead of globalizing it, is a whole form of resources, puts all the energy into manipulating the environment for support. And what you do is again and again, you manipulate, lead, you manipulate, tame your mommy, you manipulate everybody, and in the best view of the names of the distance. How did I manipulate you? You see, again, this question was. I want to know, though. Okay, ask your friends, he'll tell you, well, I mean, it's you know ever. Ask me. You have developed before. I can now. I'm, I feel, uh, blind. Wait. Now, my neutronate you this good on strike. Playing apples, they stew. They all will give it to a dog. Anything except for standing on your own feet, wiping your own ass. However, trimming. Yeah, where the. No, please help. Please, shoot me. Oh, well, I can't uh, do it without your help, and I'm very. But I don't know as much as you do about these things. And um, it's all I need someone to tell me. I don't know what to do about these situations. It is a help. Well, do you want me to come home with you and every time Harry flares up, do you want me to be there with it? To stage advice and to uh, hold your hand and back. Uh, and concede. I got. Why don't we let very talk to you? Oh, that was I think that too. But you're dying. You see, every sentence is meant to manipulate for one thing. Manipulate. The one of the master manipulators I met him in life. And it's up shaking your head by you're the good lower cares. I thought you were talking about how cold and I know that's such a good time. That's good, bro. You can hear it. What's coming down? Are you supposed to do this? Come on, 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 my own but then again if i'm manipulating i do need to help if i'm neurotic and i'm using people and manipulating people i then that's the uh, that is illness <laughs> for the fifth way <laughs> why would anybody be here if they weren't needing help on the hot pond Thank you. So what are you going to do? Very. When you say to me, Fritz, that I'm an artist at manipulating. All right. I, I'll plead guilty to that. You've been... I didn't see it, but I didn't see that this bad. But I didn't make you a story. I described to you what you do. I, I feel better. Because I feel upset that I... It sort of had a, a feeling of, of uh, being stuck with something that's intolerable and not having any help in getting over it. 
you see, what you said to me, you're one of the masters of manipulation that I've ever seen. It's like saying, this is a colored person. You're the blackest beast I ever saw, especially people that don't want to be colored. I mean, they can't help it. Like it's... But this your left hand too. I'm getting support from this sweater. What is your left hand to lead? But what's your left hand to how to lead it? I guess stroking this sweater. Be my friend, this hand. You have to differ. Yeah, let me be humble with the child and support me, sweet. I'm too. And then. This sweater represents a stronger man. Seems to me. Somebody I could talk to. I can't talk to my host of that way. I want to. Me and I. I am lying. Am I lying? I... You are lying. I can talk to him that way and I... And I... You are lying. Talk to him, see it. <laughs> when I talk to you about something that isn't agreeable with you, you get angry. And the anger just is like a shade fall down between us and then there's nothing. And when sometimes when I talk to other people, I can express myself just as it comes out, and they don't get angry, so I need this comfort. When you talk to me without needing my help, and when you talk to me without manipulating me, then the communication is very, very clear, and we talk on length and on deep problems and many discussion. But when you control the conversation and when you could control me, that is when I turn off and walk off because we're not communicating. You're the lecturer and I'm the listener. Your husband is exactly in front of you, your problem exactly. If you can learn to differentiate between expressing yourself and manipulating, then you have all the problems of your life, Rick. You never express yourself, you always manipulate. Basic duplicate, liar, deceit. The decent accusation. And you need all this because you don't have the guts. Be yourself, which you always want to be. It's messes. Now, I get help to. And what? I experience myself as, as a as a nothing now, and you're asking me to start talking to you my... the manipulation. Cool, we've cool, we have nothing. I'm honestly spreading myself, uh, Fritz. Uh, uh, uh. We've learned experience the same way, said Dr. I have to absorb what you just said to me, that I'm a hypocrite, a basic liar. The hell is the truth. You go to hell, Fritz. <laughs> that didn't come from her. I don't try. The dead I talk. Get the rich. Is it better to scream at people than to cry? Yes, dear. What? Again, you give, give us support. You're all so helpful. You're all being safe. Well, I'm, if that's true, I'm damned if I'm going to go on this way. See, this I get it. I'm damned if I'm going to. to do it. Uh, if I'm all these things, such a liar and a nothing of me comes through, <coughs> I'm not going to do that anymore. And see, this is your peak, too. I'm not going to do it. I think with your whole body. Do it. See it with your whole body. I'm not going to do it. Uh, no, no. I'm not going to do it. Louder. I'm not going to do it at war. Scream it. I'm not going to do it. Louder. You I'm not going to do it. Now you're through a temper tattoo. He gives you a wonderful example how to do a temper tattoo. I hate it so much, and he, him, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to become like that. Forget. I'm not going to become like that. And flare up in front of innocent people. down. I'm not going to solve the problems of my life by throwing a temper tantrum either. 
And if I'm all this, if I'm a hypocrite, liar, and everything else, and a crybaby, I plead guilty to this. I have that thing in good. But on the other hand, I am not going to go through life screaming and blackmailing other people and throwing them in a corner where several people have been invited and lean way out the nose. Mary, if a temper tantrum, if a temper tantrum means a display of anger, a real honest anger, you feel something, you say it, then I welcome it. I welcome it. You work under the ball as a sub, you work under the sub to All right, I, I need, well, I need. <laughs> you interrupted. I did. I need men from you. I need a display of anger when you are angry. I don't need it a week later when it shows its ugly head in some other way. I need for you to tell me I'm mad and, and display it, and then it's over with. And what do you do when I get angry now like that? The seat you get. Who the hell is waiting to here and pitilating her? No, I no clue. Okay. No, you see, again, the very moment does this, instead of listening and answering, to be the encounter and take and do yeah. need the thing lead in and dispose. That's true. All he wants is some emotional honesty. He set up putting on the big heads. I can't be honest with him, then, Ruffi. Good. Take them from me. Say this to him. I can't be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe that. Get out of it. Look. Look, There is an S. Well, we found moments when she began to take a stand and display some uh, confidence. But she has to be first very much pushed in the corner where she has no other way out anymore with her gimmicks and tricks. But good material. One day she'll call. What's name? I have a recurrent gleam where I can't speak. In fact, it's uh, it's more of a of a nightmare. So that it, the the fear I don't wake in and speak. I just shout out any word to prove that I can still speak. Yeah, that frightens me. Or that, that thing just happened over and over. I stammer. And as a child, I uh, stammered kind of a lot. And you deliberately step, exaggerated. I don't know. I, I mean, it just, well, there we are. Just comes up from time to time. I think I hesitate more now than I'd actually stammer, but on certain words, I, I dare. <laughs> and like now in front of this group, I just feel a heart pounding like the hand around it. Close your eyes and put in your body. And what? Enter your body. Pay attention to your physical places. What do you speak? My heart is story like a tripped humor. And my eyes are quivering, and my, I just, my thighs and my arms are quivering, shaking. I don't know whether it's obvious, but I am. Can you touch, get in touch with your excitement? Well, it's, uh, it's a fear of long standing. Can you get in touch with your excitement? Can you feel any vibrations, quivering or whatever? Eco antiseptics. Uh, yes, I I'm quivering with the fear that I'm rare. Rare. Oh my heart. My hands are, my palms are wet. I feel a weakness in my knees and calves and thighs. It deep and deep into this unpleasant experience. Fear of the uh, falling of being uh, helpless, weak, <laughs> alone. Uh, not being able to communicate, I uh, understand when there, I'm just hesitating. Yeah, you're not 
giving me your experience to give me a lot of explanation. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, my eyes right now and my head is, is all throbbing. That's it. Just stay with you. Whatever you experience. Right. Head more. <laughs> cut, cut out all the bullshit. Try. My my eyes, my forehead, my head is throbbing right now. And as I to, re to repeat, my heart is being like mad. Uh, I get this weakness in my thighs and my knees and my legs. As if if I try to stand, I like would fall. Literal. So stick that. Journey. Keep your eyes closed. Keep in touch with your experience. What do we do with it? Stand there. What about your peer quality? It's still there. I sort of wavery. Give in, Libra. What's that? Give it in. Just put it up. It's your body talking such a piss. It was shot. Get. Be careful. Be ridiculous. I feel that you can't stand on your own feet. It's all I feel. I see it's, it's quite true. Yeah, I know. Literally. Okay, now just stand up again and cut out the fake. Go a bit into your knees. Go a bit into your knees. Go what? Into your knees. Bend your knees slightly. Still a bit more. So, that keep it. <laughs> and put your head up. Look. Look. Jump a little bit in your knees, just a tiny bit. Right, that doesn't make this. Don't how do you feel it? Firm enough. Like that. Yeah. Firm enough. Back it. Double up your eyes and look in the audience. But go out with your knee bit. Always fall as it's a bit deliberate to me. <laughs> I fall on the vertical. Powerful moment, yeah. How do you feel that? Well, with strong that thing. Then get your whole body into it. Yeah. There's, there's an ache now, but it's an, a kind of a stronger ache. And what about your voice? I think it's a little strong. Yeah. Farmer. Yeah. I'm not really. Looking at them, so that I was looking out into the sea just now. We well, get in touch with people. Faith. Do you have eyes? You see the Pacillus? I see eyes. Have you got eyes? Yes. What do you see? Well, but two days at least. To this just just a kind of bit. I see they're friendlier than I talk to them. I see you're friendlier than I thought you would be. Some of them are actually pretty warm. Smiling. So how's his stage right now? That uh we had a thought I haven't had a favorite of crow would do a thing. We from up to the water. As you can. A little bit better. And it's supposed to be something. I don't have any with your soul dreams. 
might are sort of tightened. Are you aware that you're defensive? I didn't ask you about the footwear. The for, to blame, please. I can ask what the last. And get for them to disqualify. If I could manage, I'm not sure. Now you have a very interesting posture. Look. Left leg supports the right leg. The right leg supports the right hand. The right hand supports the left hand. The knee will up and so on. What? Give you something to hang on to. Well, there's a lot of people out there. Can we get to the stage? I rubbed it. In the stage, right? In the pubic outside. In other words, you're on stage. Or oh, I saw that thing that we had. No, what about getting in touch with your audience? Pretty. <laughs> Oh, it looks very gentle and he'll roll with operation. Tell it to them. You have very warm face and very interested. Uh, interesting. But a lot more. So then shuttle back to your stage part. What do we experience now? I don't know, but we're stage right. But my husband went her pocket. So I'll go back to my husband. <laughs> You're the one that would stop conscious with the other stuff patch of family. Oh. You sort of feel like you're up here, don't you? Or sort of like you're youngsters up here. And uh, she's the one who's up there. She's trying to place me. Um, yeah. You've got to answer. You have to know what I feel. Great is unusual answer. Do you want a man of character? Her job is up to the very good. I did not know. Thank you. Hey, Claude, it didn't mean to cut. And the put it on it up. But, wait, look. Uh, the plan is to put it for me. It should be. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've learned to try. Good. I need the last three. She knows what I need. <laughs> oh, wait, and I want to go back to the road. I'm not going to I don't know. 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 I don't I always have difficulties in dealing with Jewish mothers. <laughs> Don't you like Jewish mothers? Oh boy, I love them. Breaking their matzo balls and I'm not a gastronomical Jewish mother, just a Jewish passion. I don't like a jolt of fish, he didn't. But Fiji. He has been. 
I guess I'm a pretty obvious Jewish moral. And that's not bad to be, that's right. But if it's good to be. Or a history. Or like family as are coming with a chair. What do they do to each other? Just play. I do this office. I don't smoke, so what else are you going to do with your hand that doesn't look good to suck your thumb? Listen. It's stupid. Oh, it's a Jewish map. It has reason for everything. And if I don't have one, I'll make one of them. And then, uh, how for us? If I do, you know, for her. Did I say something wrong with me? I would say I can't have difficulties believing with them. I hope so. Me? You get there to apply for the upgrade the fall to leave. And I did. Did you attend this edit? Put Fritz in the chair, ask him that question. Don't you like Jewish weathers? Did you have one that you didn't like? Cool. You know, I like them. They're just a very difficult lot to do with. Oh, the hell with that. that sounds it. Well, what makes them so difficult? Well, then they're very dogmatic and very opinionated and flexible. Very. The box and constructible cells to the work. You go in this room, marrow where they mean They're less easy to therapy. children think that they the Does everybody have to be subject to your therapy? Yeah. <laughs> What is the on backlog of uh, dream work or yeah. other work? Come on, so I don't have a free. Harder. Oh, we talk. Now talk to your dream. Without. My dream? Yeah. You see, you have no dream. You talk to your no dream. I'll dream, um, sometimes you come, but, um, you know, it's been a long while since I've seen you, and I don't remember any of, of you, uh, you're just not around. Two C's. Well, you know I'm here, but, um, you just don't remember, you won't see it. It's, um, seeing me. Don't say it. Always say I or you instead of it. Forget it. You don't see me, and uh, I keep, I come up and in. you know that that things are happening because you can tell in the morning that you've been dreaming. But uh, you just won't see it. We won't see me. And so I come around during the day to see you and and um in the form of your chest getting tight like it does. That's what, that's what I do to you, and unless you're going to see it, that's going to continue. Two seats. Well, you know, I've been, I've been trying, and I work at it, but um, somehow I seem to avoid it. It doesn't, you know, I, I really try, but it doesn't get If you want to go and work, we... It plays about it by I or you. Otherwise, get off the chair. But the fact, I try to see it, but I can't see. Actually, oh, it, I try to see what it is. Jesus, the first steps come. Get support from Jesus. <laughs> Jet. And 
I am try to see the split that or whatever it is, whatever I am doing to myself. But I find it difficult. It's you find it difficult. Or animus pain. It's like something else. I mean Yeah. I don't own it. It's not part of me. So. So, seven encounter with it. Put it in the chair. You are it. Right. All right, Ed, you son of a bitch. I've just had it with you. We've been just. Been doing this too long, you know. You, you, you do a lot of things that I see, and they're. You know, they're kind of sick. You sit, I sit, you know, <coughs> I see myself doing fandoms that are really pretty weak. They're using other people, and I, I won't get off my ass. And, so, and when I come here and then, I'm, and hear the things that are said here, it really gets clear to me. The change seems to be the it, clear hint. <laughs> can start, you can use me to avoid responsibility. Put all the responsibility on me, it's all this it that is responsible. How about that way? <laughs> you just leave me to avoid things and make excuses, it's all my fault instead of yours. Uh, you're dodging, and I just won't take it. And you, know? you can't use me to be your excuse. Just don't need. Yes, I can. I've been doing it for years, and it is your fault, Dan. And doing it for years, it is your fault. It has a tremendous part in your life. If you understand it, we understand you. Then, it's like um, it like it is like the, what is it like? It is like my mother, I think. The mother is an it, and I mean, turn over it. <laughs> Mother, you're an ear. <laughs> you're just too much. It's just hard to deal with the hair. Now put all the responsibility on her. Look for what you've done to me and someone. Oh, look. Yeah, that's that's a cop out. No, the it is a comp cop out. All the things the it is is unbelievably yeah. All right. Maybe you are an it. I keep thinking on yeah, well, uh, yeah, I'm learning that that I'm it and there's no you know, we gotta get together some way yet. Dip filter and uh Now, we get, you know, it's just been, I haven't enjoyed the way it's been having you hit, and it, and I, Jesus. <laughs> okay, now let's change the subject, put Jesus in the chair. Okay. Put <laughs> you evoked him twice? <laughs> But Jesus, you were up. You were always supposed to be a good guy. And, then you could... and not only that, you're not only supposed to help, but you were supposed to be a model, you know. And so, uh, I used to depend on you to help me out or think that that'd be, you know, you'd be a good friend. What's your name? 
in John. So that's Jesus talked to Job. Well, it's not so funny because John was his boyfriend. Yeah, no, I thought I thought sure. Was the disciple he was in love with? Stunt the cardos. Down. He had a lot of things going on. Oh, Jude, John, you know, I just want to lecture you a little bit and take it. Yeah, well, they're pretty damn presumptuous in trying to be like me and be my friend and all that. But you should do a little bit. Tickling your war. Oh, it's Jesus Dewey. It's poking me in the chest. Right, right on the left side. And, you know, kid. That's some place, yeah. Now we have the tree. Jesus is poking John in the vents. Okay. Or is it real? Or is it real? Yeah, it's real. Oh, I feel that's that tightness in my chest, you know, that's it. It's the same glitz. It's like a constant, maybe a folk. Okay, go back and tell him that. A cow, how? Look, this is hurting me. And you're poking me constantly. And for no good reason. You're just an overinflated slob yourself. And for sure. You know, I mean, it. That's, um, that's the way I feel about it. You see, he's an overinflated slob himself. This sounds as if you consider yourself to be an overinflated slob. Yeah, I thought that when I said that. That's right. Scones. That's not too much of a surprise. I see, I, you know, I, I really don't consider that idea of being an overinflated slob. It's just like, it's just not achievable. It's not there. And it, I wish it would die. I'd like to kill it, you know, because... Say this, say this to the skull. Well, I, I'd like to kill you so you'd go away and stop bothering me. You know, it's just been you've pushed it too much, you know. She's sits again. Now we have the second person coming in. And first, Jesus now is the killer coming in. I'd like to kill you. Well, those, those are fine words, but I'm not particularly afraid of being. And then we're in. You're an empty shell. You'll talk that way, but they won't do it. Because, uh, you know how it is, kid, I'd get you first. I've got all the lightning bolts on my side. That they're pure. And so, yeah, you know, I'd really like to punch you myself. As a matter of fact, I do. And that's uh, poking and getting. If you don't straighten up, you're going to get it yourself. Then do this with your left hand. This? Pal. When did it put to the right and left? Yeah. Uh, See with the difference of the left. Well, the left one is so awkward. I mean, it reaches out, it holds. Left hand reaches out, and the right hand is pulled. Kate. But do this with the right hand here. Well, it is. It just it doesn't feel that way now. It just feels like can't help. Pop a little finger. Yeah, like 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 holding the kid in. If Jesus Safari John Hall. Right. Yeah. John Hall. They're all over the come. Uh, I just got a lot of forgotten phrases in my head. You know, it's like, come to my, my side, my flea inside, and I'll come to you. And... Oh, it's okay. 
Only way I'm going to go cage. So, Johns, I would say to you, uh, buddy, I tried that once or twice, and I got pretty let down by it, and I'm not barring it again. I, you know, you look like you mean it this time, it might, we could be friends, mate. And I just, um, don't know. We were always kind of evasive, you know. I never knew where you stood. So, so I don't know whether to believe you now. You know, I, I'd known for quite, you know, two or three months now that I was kind of on the borderline of making the truce with you. That I haven't known whether to trust you or not. And it's not only it's not only you, it's the rest of the people too. I mean it's that is to the core. I don't trust any one of you. I don't trust you. I don't trust I even the ones that I trust I don't trust very much. I just don't trust That's some I'm sort of apologetic about it. I'd like to, you know, and you don't do things, but I just get um a little uh, afraid about it. Look at the bottom So, you know, because I kind of would like to like you uh, and be like. I just put it on the front, it doesn't quite make it. For me, anyway, mine for others. That sounds almost too sweet, because I'm sure even if I did want to like all of it, you know, I wouldn't like all of you, but it's, uh, you know, I'd like to like some of you. Dish bad and bad. Like that beneficial looking click. The guard. I was thinking when I came up here, I'd done something unusual for me, which was I'd sort of sorted out the people I'd get along with and not the ones that I wouldn't be on my own that list. I could tell now, but... Yeah, I'm just talking, I'm talking too much. I don't trust it that much. My deal was not with you, like I thought it was, it's with the rest of it. But that's me, you trust me? All right. Yeah. Something. So. Somehow, not somewhat, somehow. It's like you have a little touch of magic somewhere. Well, you know, that's the way it seems. You don't trust. Jesus, but you trust me if you did it. So many things that bring to you a speed. I thought I could have read that loose of the cards. And the shop is fine, quite the thought if they're not. But I would have been. I've always been very friendly with some Jewish people. You should go, oh, my mom. I'm not going to take you. 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 And see if he's been there. The sound cut up. What about the rest of the Jews? Mm. Are some of your best friends? That's a That's a true. <laughs> some are Catholics too. They're not. Some want to visit them. A couple of times. But Except there's a funny, uh, the funny thing that you you know, some you can get along pretty well with people in the same race and the same background. You know each other a little better, but maybe you don't like each other so lot. I don't anyway. Listen. Up. 
it's the same. Kind of, I'm kind of wondering, like, any. And struck by how much children that were in your sound. But it. All the it's and all the you's they were rearing me, I and me, when I don't want that to. Or again. It can. Yeah, I'd like to be perfect. But it, it, you just can't do it. I can't. Bingo. That's what the um, that's what it does for me. It keeps me from having the sweat it. With acknowledging myself, it's a or I. I don't know. What to do. You want to be a savior? And it's deep in the bank. Wait a minute. What are you doing the two days? I'm picking out. We're picking on yourself, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of like breaking pain in the person. Well, you see, we understand it. Well, at least I understand quite well that you wouldn't dare to dream. You might get some clarification of his confusion. Oh. So my suggestion is always keep a pencil and paper next to your right table. Then. Don't try to remember. But if a dream comes up and you have an opportunity to write it down and write it down and stop your thing. Can it Yeah, that's not we did it up. We were back at that. Fred's high in the battery. I'd like to give the background of this thing. No, okay. I think it, I don't want the background. I want the dream in the present tense. With dream that I have, it's recurred a number of times, is one which takes place after the war, return from service, Continually rained very, very hard. The existing buildings are bombed out. Many, many people, soldiers, I am amongst them all the time. Civilians, ragged, hungry, gaunt, all seemingly lost trying to get home, but I can't get home and they can't get home. Things holding us back and holding us down, delaying us, pressing upon us. Spending weary nights trying to get shelter from the elements, especially this visible rain. Whatever shelter there is, we are all lined together, trying to get some rest. I don't recognize anyone. I just can distinguish between those in uniform and those out of the uniform. Hey, can we interrupt? Well, could you ask the audience to feel sorry for you, but they admire you? And I don't think I have. So. I don't see why. Can you see? So would you feel sorry for me? With with the crummy. This, this is uh, essentially the dream I have. 
except for the being pushed down, denying, being denied the uh, way on. Okay, can you change seats and play the frustrator? Far, far, far. You would like to go. Oh. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. You would like to go home, Warren. But who do you think is stopping it? Well, evidently, no one's stopping me but myself. Then when, why have you felt this way? Purchased it. I felt because I've had no direction. I haven't commanded my situation. Well, if I'm not preventing you, what are you going to do about it? There's only one way of making it, and that is taking charge of my own situation. And I'm determined to do that. Oh. By living by my values, it both motiv being mo motivated by my own desires for self-fulfillment. Are you a psychologist? No. We have heard it. I'm an insurance salesman. Motivated, so so much like psychology and Well, no, I had some parts with it. Oh. But I've been in a, a state of change in recent months. So the dream I related, I related as having been in, I haven't, I haven't uh, experienced, I'd say, a, a year, although I had the number of times in the previous years. So be the bond out building. Be the bombed out building, be the wreckage. <laughs> Here I am in the middle of the world, part of me gone desolate, trying to shelter people best I can. I know it isn't adequate, but it's the best I can do. Hit it. Now, chance. Be the bomber or whoever did this damage. Detain. There, there is a building down below. I've been ordered to destroy it. It is my duty, being my seniors. I regret it, but I have no choice. And to curse. Yes. This is a mixture that was indeed. We'll keep in the building again. I would like to be a whole as I was previously so that I could be sheltered to the people who could live here. I feel badly that I am not, but I look forward to being reconstructed so I can serve my function ably again. So pay the bomb again. Okay.
I have done this damage swiftly. And if I survive, I will do all I can to right things that I have destroyed. Both feet. And I can share. Now, what are your homes doing? What? Restful in my lap. Yeah. When before I asked you, the way I asked for your critical change, you were sitting like this. You could have. What a fascist story. Right. Can you let your hands talk to your genitals? Good night. So, yeah, uh, give them some work. Don't get the cancer. Yeah. Why not? What are your functions? What are you trying to do? I am serving no purpose that I can think of. What would you like to do? I would like to be constructive rather than idle. How are you going to do this? It was freaking. It's my intention to put you to work. What you want from me now? If nah, in the pile of the kit. Now that I have returned from service, I am going to keep that promise to make good on the destruction I had caused. Making the buildings that I destroyed functional again. Close your eyes. And you become aware of yourself. What do you experience? How do you experience yourself? Within myself? How do you experience yourself? <laughs> Fairly calmly. Confident. With me. Eager to get going. I look at the audience, but how do you experience the world? How do we experience the world out there? Feel warm, so I can. I think they feel warm toward me. Yeah. Right. I feel like a caring person and I feel it returned.
become a real self again. Be yourself. Can you feel the caring, the warmth from whatever you say? Yes. Play myself again. Mori, I feel you as a warm, caring, serving person. Then I feel that you will get fulfillment of the helping others to the best of your ability. Well, I agree with you. I think you'll do it. Any specific thing you have in mind? What to save the world or not the world? What do you want to do? I want to, in my own, within my own capacity, be a serving person in the collective transcript. How do you do that? By helping others make, make others aware of their individual situations as far as financial needs are concerned and showing them possible solutions and the monetary cost that satisfied patients. And uh, just by making them aware of this, showing them the possible solution and the monetary costs, letting them make their own decisions as to according to their own values. Part of that. I feel there's a great need for this and it was my experience has shown that too many like insurance men don't try to help the people they s by finding out about them and helping with their decisions, but by really presenting a particular plan and saying this is what you should have. I don't think they're serving people. Uh. You haven't quite sold these ideas to me. I must have been with it. I I'd like to spend a few minutes on discussion, question, answers, and so on. But I don't feel very fulfilled for the last session, for the last power. So I need some. Something, some turning corner. I don't know how you would feel. I feel very draggy, heavy. And up. Yeah. Perhaps you with the stiff number words in the card left and squeaking. It would do it every day. But let me repeat the five levels. Stick cliche. Yeah. The whole plane. The implosive, the explosive, the authentic. They're singing with word play. Work play. Role play. Role play. We just had the word play at four of the do good Before we had the old of a slog. We all play our roles, you see. I play the prima donna. I don't know that. It's just a bit. I I don't interpret. Can you repeat your question? A lot of size or a side, Lydia. Can you give me your statement? This, by the way, is a very important part for maturation. Change your question to statement. Every question is a hope and 
I would say the majority of our questions is our inventions to torture yourself and torture others until you have to fly to the moon. But if you change your question to a statement, you open up a lot of your background in one of the best means to develop a good intelligence. So change your question to a statement. I'll feel better. Feel the truth to This is so very the third to the end. I know that that can it for a thing. Okay, then I ask you a question. How do you interpret the pie way? I bet it take. But I think I see what it here from beat up to as Gertrude Stein used to say, the science is science is science. Yeah, me. I'd like to let's make a steak. That's a great idea. One of the thoughts that I've had about be dragging the imminent has been that people seem to come up and work at an aspect or a chip or a piece up there of the self, and they don't want to really come up and deal with their whole person. How do you know? I don't. I, I just said to see. Could it be that you project this onto them? Could very well. Could you make a statement about yourself in this respect? <laughs> see, I instead of it, but I could cast in the state of the other. I've went out there to work with just a piece of it. Please don't let this out of you that this is a seminar to get you acquainted with the approach. And as I said before, any therapeutic success is purely accidental. Can't expect these five minute cures or so. Though uh, two weeks ago, I had a wonderful experience, not that there was a cure, uh, but at least an opening arc. There was a stemra. There was an audience about this business. There's 80 people in And uh, this man came up with stammering and I asked him to increase his stammer, you see, to tell yeah. So with, he felt in his throat, he said, I feel like choking myself. So I gave him my arm, now choke me. God damn, I could kill you. But, and he got a real anger tantrum and spoke very <clears throat> loud without any difficulties. So I showed him, well, you've got the existential choice, either to be an angry man or a stutterer. That's where we're at. But I'm not And you know, how a stutterer can torture you, how it keeps you on tenter hooks. That is quick flank. It. Any anger that is not coming out flowing freely will turn into sadism, powers, drive, and other means of torture. Anyhow, let's work a bit over time. Let's have number three. See what number three can be. <laughs> <laughs> Moving time. Let's start with the close your eyes. Experience of yourself in a stage right of Helped. How it just go with hearts going it's my voices out of control. You turned it. Can't swallow. Felt it. Essential. So. Up to sleep. A tattoo shave of a wave taken. A fall.
here. Yeah. I can hear people and see whiskey. Ah, you're big to us. How do you feel? A little bit better. But it's comfortable. Not these late Eastern. I sound a little better too. Go big, go away again. But <coughs> first, the. That's a little bit. The kind of woman. Yeah, but that's hard. No. It's me, David. He ran my back for me to do something solid. See? Good to walk out Temporary. And I'm just and I'm just Cheap. Or a bit cool. Oh, it is gonna be a new chirurg. They're still in touch with your ears, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, get in touch with your eyes. But you. For do you see? Right here. That's deeper faces. And it's forwards and cold and left for the gaming. Well, the only thing else seen besides faces? Other. Well. There's a row. There are people in retrospect. Any three dimension on it till both. Well, listen, there's one or two people I know. They have the mask. There's one or two people I don't know, but have nice faces. Which? All right, we are ready for the dream now. Thank you. Let's do it. I was sitting with the baby in my arms. The baby in the present tent. Oh, I'm, I have a baby in my arms. My baby, Adder. I want to nurse it. And I'm putting it to nurse it. When she might sort this changes and I'm the baby about to thirst. And when I'm, really I'm just getting there, the, the breast turns into an eye that is like a lizard's eye. And it just sort of shuts. And that's all. And the sequin is it's just a, a flare. Peace. I'm standing on the edge of Sophie. You're looking in, and it's the edge of of a mouth that's so teeth and their feet. They're, they're very male, they're very big, and they're bloody. It's just the god of sin. And that just, it, it doesn't it seem much frighten me. It's sort of, I rock back as I realize when I've fallen into it. I've fallen into it. It's your turn. Now, how? It's wet and Absolute. squishy. Man. And in order to get out, you go down to the teeth. But, but it'd be very easy to 
What do you want to get out for? Seems like a dumb place to be. First, what can you do with it? Some lilac. Okay, this place is a mouth you're falling into here. So have an encounter with his mouth. You're in this mouth and he bolts bows. Excuse me, I was going to put water. Here, great gaping empty hole. So you've teed, you've even have a full set of tea. I need to talk about it. Have a walk up there and chain. I don't know what to do with you. I just want to go away from you. But the top you think the girl is a veil of I don't even more what you want. Yeah, but I try to kill you in son of You have no character. Now room I turn around, I can't I can't even taste you. That with flavor. Well, look at Do well, I could. Thank you. Just scream and shout and carry him on. You do, I was there. And then I have a lot. It's weird to shut it. Speaking of it. I can't even see. Oh. You have tea? We have blood on. That the tea. So I move. But have the stall. <laughs> the only thing I heard in relationship to that mouth is out of so I'm never that's on to me. What do you expect? Yeah, stay with Shakespeare. That's you're not for me. No. It's sort of like a, a bottomless thing. Say this to the bot. You're bottomless, I mean. I fall in you, I fall in you. It's it's the air. It's a nowhere thing. I I guess I said you scare me too. Where well, you I dare you to Jumping to the bottomless thing. To a tail. We feel stupid. I, I can't imagine it. And I sort of could tell myself, well, <laughs> that's not what I'm supposed to do anyhow. I'm not supposed to retrograde. I mean, a bottom of slit. Both your eye. Read it. And then down. I'll be down. 
they can. Actually, I'm not going any which way, though. It's cornless, straight. Yep. Why? I think you're getting in touch with nothingness. Get in touch with nothingness. Yeah, in the it's not in there. I have. And it's very fresh. Or I don't want to do it. I, I have this feeling I'll be sucked in. But he gets sucked in. I, I, I have no hands on. Yeah. How, how can I do this without hands on? I don't know. My carrot. Out. There's a very important, let's call it session here. The getting in touch with nothingness. It's a very typical impasse situation, one of those impasses which prevents a person from getting through to authenticity. It's uh, something, what the Russians call the sick point, in which they also realize they can't get through. And you notice Rosemary's phobic behavior, how she's afraid to I mean, get in touch with nothingness, and she rather does anything else. And the result is if you don't get through that state of nothingness, all you do is to retain the status quo of your neurosis or bad marriage or whatever it is. It's a very decisive <laughs> point of investment. for which you keep strange with that for. So tell us more about your experience. What do you experience is your fear, your reluctance to get in touch with this nothing. Okay. It's all it's a meaning western. It's a meaning western. I'm meaning to the shits. I I what, what, how do you say something like get in touch with nothing? Is it you can touch it? To swim. And it, it, it sucks. It's like a vortex. Yeah, yeah, fat. Now play the vortex. I'm very strong. Certainly. Expectantly. And I'm very little. But, but. And, and you get into my smoke. And at the round you were. And demo. And pretty soon you come to a point where you can't get out. And you fall apart. Because in order to get in, you have to become a snuff. 
Okay, see the same paragraph here too. The origin. Here. The our vortex. In the paint. Uh, you're a vortex. So oh, you are the war. I'm not. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm a vortex, am I? I go around and around and I suck people in. Pick somebody here. And... If you get sucked in, you've had it. Because there'll come a point where you can't get out. And where the current will be so strong, you'll just get to zero foot. And at zero point, you explode. Here are little tiny pieces all over the place. And then you sort of file through one more one to this hole in the bottom of the waters. Now, be the baby and let the baby be the vortex. Or the baby wants to get to the breast. And the very moment the baby wants to go to the breast, what happens? A twinkle to a lizard, so I had shut. Yeah. So how can they get the baby to the breast? Well, if it's a breast, close your eyes. And if it's a louder breast, scream. Okay. Well, the experience, sir. Uh, yep. It's true. So, it sounds like it's true, but I don't say I'm a kill ready. Yes. So of course I had to keep the summon. Yep. Yep. It's 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 easy to say that about a breast. And it's at there. But it has to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, a breast is not the lizard's eye. I cannot Well. Okay. Place the page of the number. And the name is L measured. And this is then a recurring green one. Uh, Otter was too pain. They both start the thing. What I'm looking for is a real different arrow like me. Uh, I suddenly realize that I must sleep. And I force myself, I have to wake up. And I actually come to a semi awake state and I actually can see all my arm in bed and I'm sleeping and at first my first dream was that I've got to get up and look for something and if I'm sleeping I can't look for it and I've actually although I don't have a history of sleepwalking gotten up out of bed and gone looking and I don't know what I'm looking for and I tell myself you're asleep at night time and do go back to sleep and sleep the entire night. And I go back to bed and I, sometimes I've actually gotten out of bed and sometimes I haven't. And I go back to bed and I go, okay, go, go to sleep the third, it was just a dream. But I go right back into it again. And then in the last several months, rather than getting up to look for something, I realized suddenly that I'm asleep and I have to wake up because I'm in some remote apartment within a house, you know, I've been left there and haven't been shown how to get out. And I've actually gotten up feeling, wait for me. And then it's a matter, I suddenly this throat phone went around the thing, when it's time to go, we'll show you the way out, don't worry. And I don't believe it. And I'm, I go back to sleep and I wake up again thinking, 
they're going to leave me behind. I've got to get up. I can't, if I leave, they'll literally leave me behind. And again, the voice was, of course, something there said, you're sleeping now. It's time to sleep. Go back to sleep. And I sort of feel like if I have my nightgown on and I won't be ready to leave. And they've been weeping. If I'm in my nightgown, I have to get up. And it's like almost a battle telling myself, no, it's my turn now. Go back to sleep. And making force on myself to wake up. I get very frantic because I don't want to be left behind. I've actually yelled out, either help or wait for me. And I, I've waken myself up to look around and for a minute don't recognize the window in my bedroom. Then I know it's that, and yet I feel like it's I'm somewhere else. One time I actually, when I wasn't bit afraid of being left behind, I was looking for something. I actually got up and walked to the kitchen in the dark, opened the light, found a little birthday candle, closed the light in the kitchen, walked back and opened a little drawer and lit the candle and looked in the drawer. And I knew what I was doing, yet I was asleep. I have no hispius from the pocket. But now I'm not looking. I'm a brother of being less yeah. eating. And, and I keep looking. And, and I keep saying, well, aren't you going to wait for me? Where are you going to? How are you going to? How will I know when to go? You might not be a sleepwalker, but you sure put me to sleep. I've put you to sleep. It's a very boring story to you. It terrified me, and I'm, I'm, I'm still. I have to, I have to be there. I have to go. What's really good? Hello. Making me feel very full. Wake up, Fred. The third. Back to the do you feel I haven't told you the whole dream? I just don't know how I was portrayed it. Branding it like if being a play of being left behind. Yeah, with that. He's like that. Go on. And we can kill very badly. At the start. Frank. That's all the detail there are after Pearl in the dream. It's, it's there and it's very real to me at the time I'm going to. It's my cat's leave straight to the night. We'll be out your stuff. I've gotten up, I've actually gotten up and gone back to bed, and I still go into this breathing room. Or tell to like the other girl did that on the chair and, and talk to it. Why do you think we'll be nine? Why would you trust her? What? Where will you... If you're left behind, what can happen to you? I'll be all by myself, and I don't want to be by myself. Oh. And if you cared for me, you'd let me know. Yeah, but that. We told you the, we'd let you know when could we eat or how to get out of here. Why don't you take our word for it? I would like some way of your showing your caring or... I would type moral support. 
not the instruction. I'm locked at. I want to feel surrounded. I don't need people to feel surrounded. It's a feeling that's imparted. Teachers. Uh, if you'd have to believe your own feeling and believe in order to accept, and you don't do it. I don't know who I'm talking to. That town needs you. Now you make me feel like I'm trying to you in. I just am not aware of who I'm talking to and I want. The power break. That is just bad if that's equal to why am I separated in the... Why are they separating? Why are you separating me out there? <laughs> You've put yourself out there. We haven't separated you. Come and join it. If you want to. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. Just don't. Sometimes you think you are to join us, but you really don't anyway. Oh. Okay. Who are you? Why why can't why am I not identifying you? Why don't you open up so I can really see who you are? I wouldn't be upset if you if I just hit you or or something so I know that it was, it's real. I think I think what does it take to prove to you that it's real? You're a big girl and you you, you should be able to accept and rescue the eyes. Feeling. Go out on a limb and take the chance. A chance with what? Oh, you hear this voice this time? Yeah. This was not a sweet voice, it was not this baby voice. Ying, ying, ying. It's what? But I want to know this what. I don't like being left there. <laughs> Eleanor, you've got to be your bit, and somebody says, fine, fine, if they don't like it, they're just going to have to not like it, and if they don't like you, you just, the hell with it. You've got to learn that. And the only way you can learn it is to just do it. Would it be just to wake up? I bet it can I'm going to ask you a very silly question. Why don't you wake up? And because then I'll do what I want to do, and they won't like me. It's a good effort. That's the best is? I have to lightly and never mind them. We can't get back to our thoughts, but God. I fucking did a passion. And then you start to do it. You're a bit. Dr. Pearl, don't do that. You could have been a book. All the time. That place, don't. I don't know. That was quite like a little clock of art. I'm like, how the fuck? But that's what. I do do when I get angry, I don't like to have to pretend to be nice. 
and we're on there getting married. <laughs> well, then I want to talk to my mother because she says if you talk nicely to your father, he'd give you the shirt off his back. <laughs> Not too much. He's so passive, it wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> Tell him to wake up. Oh, wake up, Dad. You're just it's ridiculous. You don't listen to me anyway. You always ask me. It's not my my father. The his mother says you've got to be nice. You feel a talk with a loud tone. I don't know who I am now. But if you have a loud voice, you have a loud blood flowing, or you just don't modulate it because your dad wouldn't phase your dad anyway. You know that. And I'm not, but I'm not. I feel very foolish. Yeah, but you're more awake now. At least they're not having a hard time here at the pant where. But I want to talk, I don't want to talk loudly, because I think a pretty voice doesn't talk loudly, and I'm not angry with, with you. I just want to find you, because I want to find me. You think you have a pretty voice? You have an awful quit, you. No, I don't think, I, mean, I don't think I have a pretty voice. I don't think I have a pretty voice. I always worry that I should mind it with my voice, that I have a very native voice. I don't, I've never, I'm very, always been very self-conscious of my voice. I've done nothing about it, but I've been very self-conscious that you do. To know the coordinate for three spot. We know, I can't wait for half of that. My brother will have an option. That's it. That's it. I mean, I think I would. No, I'm not the stopping at you, or smiling at you. Smiling at me. You say I have a whiny... If my voice is whiny because I must be a whiny person, I don't want to be that kind of person. I don't want to be a whiny person. <laughs> I don't know that at all. Stop about that. I don't want to be. But I don't hear it. How do you hear it? If I try to modulate my voice, you say I'll put you to sleep. And if I don't hear the whining, it letting go. I hear was that very much off the thirteen that I'm doing on the train. I'm searching for myself to let myself be. And you don't like my whiny voice? That's just me. Or whining voices aren't natural. I don't mind. It forever. I'm very interested in knowing what. You must say I'm just curious. I'm more than curious. I want to know, or is it my holding my feelings in that's making my voice sound whiny? Give it me. Give me. Who's coming to give you that? I'm not asking for anything. People not even the shirt off my bed. Yes. Well, I can't see that your master manipulated for like we had yesterday. But I would want to give. I don't want to take. I want to, I want to, I want to. I do give, I, but... Bradley. 
that I don't accept the way I get. Oh. Is it your hopeless case? I don't, I, it's not that. You're not a hopeless case. You have to wake up. It's all forever. I had to wake up. And I'm forcing my dog to wait in the green. I can. I, no, uh, I am doing this. You're grinding me down. And uh, I think that I fell asleep was just a bit of self protection. Against your grinding mill. There. Good thing. Good For one. Well, tomorrow for long, two, but it's uh, 11 o'clock and I've been, I'm pretty trooped, I must admit, and I think we had a pretty heavy day. Record. That can pair of